everybody. Hello to anybody that's in here. Give a thumbs up on your way in. Gina Young is live. We're just going to chat today. We are going to chat and we're going to have a fun time today. How's everybody doing? Hello. I see the six, the six people in here. I see ya. <laughs> Say hello. Give me a thumbs up on your way in if you have not done so. Nine people in here. How's everybody doing today? Let me see where my messages are because I can't see anybody. Okay, there we go. I'm seeing some messages now. Let's see. There we go. Demetria. Um, Carmia's Kitchen. Hello. Uh, Linda. Hello. Bernard Wells. How are you? How's everybody doing today? Hello, Carmia. I hope I'm saying your name right. <laughs> give me a thumbs up on your way in. If you have not done so, back out for a second to give me a thumbs up. Come back in. Maria Campos is here. Hello from Los Angeles. How are you? How's everybody doing today? I tell you what, I couldn't be more excited to come live today. Just to sit and chit chat. You know, everybody's off work, I'm pretty sure. Or most of you all are getting off work. And I figured we could just sit down and chat for a while. Chicago Panther, hello! How's everybody? Brenda, hello! Dion says hello. Hello, Miss Karen and Laura. Hi from Arlington, Texas. How are you? Shannon says, hey, Gina. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day today. Hello, Marilyn. Mia says, hello. Kenya's here. Miss Pooh is here. Lucy and Deanna. Uh, Wendy is here and Arnetta Burrell is here. How's everybody doing today? So what we're gonna do, let's wait for a little while and uh, thank you, Krell, Creel. Um, Sonia is here. Hello. Miss Pooh says hit the like button. Thank you. Um, Crazy55 five five Cake says hello. Watching from Atlanta, Georgia. Marilyn Helper. Okay, Robin says I gave you a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Listen, uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to, I'm going to wait for a few more people to come in. After I feel like a nice amount of people's in here, then we'll get started chatting. Because I, I, I think what I want to do, I think, I think, I think. I'm definitely going to decide before the end of this chat is over. I'm thinking that I might want to go live tomorrow cooking. Live tomorrow after you guys get off of work. So, you know, it's definitely definitely going to be evening time and I'm just going to make like a quick meal something that you hello Ron Wilson um something that you guys can make you know once you get home from work something that's going to be quick and easy but yet it's going to be delicious if you guys would like for me to do that give me some red hearts and let me know but then I'm going to ask the rest of the crowd as they come in also hello Diana hello Thomas Thomas Wallace to ta Tanisha Mason, Valencia's here, Robert's here, Miss Karen. Okay, I'm seeing some people saying yes, we would like that. You're watching from okay. Yes, please, says Shannon. Nicole, how are you? I'm doing well, guys. I am doing well. I I just released a video, and after. I released a video. It, it literally was just a few minutes ago. Um, I wish that I would have released the video after this live. So we'll figure it out. If you guys um, haven't already watched the video, like it just posted. Um, if you haven't watched the video, make sure when you get off of this live, go check it out because it was so much fun to make. Oh, update on Polo and Prince. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so listen. Everybody. I need for the thumbs up 
to match with the people that's in here. We got 228 people in here and only 59 thumbs up. Like there's some, like the, the, the balance isn't right. Can we give a thumbs up first before we go any further? And I will give a update on the puppies. So it's really, really interesting. I was watching it and your life popped up. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I totally. It was just kind of like my timing today because I planned on doing the video about 1.30, but somehow me and my husband made it to the kitchen a little late. And before I knew it, we was in the kitchen at 4.30 cooking and I thought, shucks. <laughs> You did a thumbs up. Okay. Welcome to GD Young's live. Okay. Everybody wants the update on Prince and Polo. Well, let me tell you. So the last we all talked was last Saturday. And I told you that the puppies were making like a funny noise after they came back from boarding. And then um, they also were sneezing. And when they were making this noise that they were making, they were kind of like shaking a little bit. So, um, and they were making a noise that kind of sounds like this. It's like, S -s 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 -s. that's kind of like what the noise sound like. And they were shaking and I thought, what the heck is going on with my puppies? So, um, you all know that they were boarded, um, when we went on a vacation. So, uh, the first appointment, my husband took them to, they made him, he was waiting out in the parking lot forever in a day. And he decided, I'm not going to be sitting out here, the only one in the parking lot, and no one is coming to let me know what's going on. So he wind up leaving. So I told you all that night I was going to call, like, the emergency vet, which we could not find one. Um, and then the next day we called a vet and could not find one. So um, I, was it yesterday? Yesterday we went to the vet. And it was actually, I'm looking, guys. <laughs> I'm looking at a, um, what the heck is it? A cricket or a grasshopper? And I just don't want it to, to jump on me. I'm not afraid of them, but I don't want it to jump on me. <laughs> it's little too. Um, but anyways, um, so our veterinarian that we have here, um, they told us, they said, we can get them in. So they got them in at 11 o'clock. And they said, well, uh, we waited out in the parking lot. Because they said one parent can come in, the other one can stay out. And we just said, take the babies in, we'll be out here, and you let us know. Well, um, they said, it does, they said, they call, called us right away, and they said, one thing that's really good is that um, they definitely don't need x rays because they, their chest doesn't sound bad. And I thought, yes, you know. And so they said, but they do need, they said, do you want them to have screening or whatever it's called a, a screen did they say a screen or a smear a screen or a smear or something like that and we say yes and they said well it's three hundred dollars and i thought okay and they said do you want to pay for one of them to get it or for two and uh we said for two so they said Said, we're going to do the screening and we're going to go ahead and give them some medicine for that noise that they're making they said we're assuming that it could possibly be a cough so they said we're going to give them that and we're going to give them an antibiotic they did the screening or the smear whatever it's called and they said that the results will be back in three to five days they said but no matter what if they have something other than what we treated them for today um still continue to give them their medicine over the course of 10 days and if it is something um something different they'll they'll call in a prescription and have us you know uh pick it up so but how are the babies doing as of today they're looking great they still are sneezing a little bit but they, they look great and they're acting great they're happy and you know remember they just they weren't doing good but right now they're doing like amazing and they're so happy so that's what's going on so three to five days we're gonna know something and we'll know exactly what it is there's like not gonna be any guessing okay so that's what it is so they gave us medicine and everything came up to like 700 and something dollars it was 600 dollars because 300 a piece for them to get the smear or whatever you call it and then we paid for their medicine boom that's done and out the way so we're praying and we're hoping that it's not really bad and hopefully this medicine will fix it 
So that's that situation. <laughs> that's that in a nutshell. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see you all today. Give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. Deborah says, hey, Gina. Gina. I, I was mixing my name and Valencia's name. Gina. <laughs> hey, Raymond. How are you? Christine is here. Let me see. Did you want a car this time? Or outside? Uh, let me see. Hold on, guys. Let me look at something. Outside of the car. Hmm. You could take this out, okay. that face, okay. but that's it, and, and send it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but here's the thing. I'm going to let you guys know how, you know, what's going on, you know, when I talk to y'all. But like I said, for now, the babies are doing, like, absolutely amazing. They're up and jumping and running around and being bad and everything. Okay, so they're eating. Um, they ate really well. So before I took them to the vet, they just, they was not looking the greatest but they're doing just fine so there's no worries i told you guys with god on our side all things is possible god can and he will heal us and our animals too caressa hello kellogg says hi gina from london england hello how are you Derek Eads is here. He says, hello there, Miss Gina. I'm finally getting your notifications again. I wasn't in the beginning. I'm so glad. Listen, if you guys don't ever, like, like for some reason, if you're not getting my notifications, make, um, look and make sure you're subscribed, number one. Once you see that you're subscribed, go ahead and click off of the notification bell. Click back onto it and press that all button so you get all notifications when Gina Young goes live or when Gina Young posts a video. And because sometimes I think something happens and people don't get notifications. If that happens to you, click off of it, click back on, press on, and the notifications will start coming back in again, okay? Real Talk is here. Hello, how are you? Raymond says, I got my dream car, a Dodge Challenger, and I'm so proud of myself. Oh, you should be proud of yourself. Congratulations. That's really nice. That is a blessing, Raymond. You hear me? Someone says, you're wondering. I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Long time since I've seen your video. Wow, you look different. Nice. Well, thank you, WFW. Uh, he's, uh, Derek Eads says, but I subscribed before I had to click off and back on twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Real Talk. Happy those guys. Oh, yeah, they're fine. I actually just seen one. <laughs> one just went jumping. I'm, I'm, I'm outside in the backyard, but I'm looking through um, the big picture window, and I see the dogs. They're having a good old time. They're playing with each other right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Pooh. How's Ron Wilson doing? Let's see. Go. It's raining really bad here on the White Mountain Apache. Re 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 let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. I couldn't pronounce that word. <laughs> but I can read it. <laughs> Eartha says, hello, and Ruby. So listen here, if we decided, your lawn looks lovely, thank you. I have green back. I have green back. I was so stinking worried about my grass turning brown, but it's together once again. So now, if we decided that we wanted to do a live cooking session, uh, what should we cook? Like, you know, with it being Thursday tomorrow, what's the best thing to cook? Because I know, thank you, uh, Cookie64, if you come home from work, you want to cook something fast, you want to cook something delicious, something that doesn't require a lot of ingredients. So you guys just let me know what you would like to see cooked tomorrow on a live tomorrow.
Hello from Houston. I love you too, always, Rosalind. We have Green back again here too in Illinois. <laughs> oh, he said fish and chips. Okay. Second live dessert or two on pole? I see, I'm not understanding that. Second live dessert or number two on pole? Oh, a dessert or the highest option on a pole. Okay, so let me see what was on the pole. Because if the pole is something that's too much for people to do when they come home from work, let, let's just see what it is. Let, let me look. I'm going to look. Let's see. Do -de -do -de -do. All right, I'm on the community post. Okay, so the second, okay, here, here's what the second thing was on the poll oh guess what the second thing was that's so funny okay so you said the second thing on the poll it was hibachi because the salmon had 32 percent the hibachi had 24 percent and the stuffed peppers had 16 percent bread pudding had eight percent so here's the thing i've already made the hibachi so what do we do now <laughs> what do we do? I, I feel like the um, stuffed peppers will definitely be like too much for people that's just getting off of work, you know. Let's see, someone is saying something. Hey, Gina, name pronounce Ashan Shara. Ashan Shara. Okay, I finally made it to a live chat. I'm happy the babies are doing well. Viewing from North Carolina, welcome and thank you for watching. Fried chicken, 279, okay. What y'all choose is fine with me, okay. 30 minute quick meal. For the what? Date night. Or do you want to do it? I told you I'll do that later. Okay. Did you sign out? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're doing salmon on Saturday. Yeah. Saturday we're doing Dakota. I think he just locked me out. <laughs> Don't lock the door. Oh, sorry. Why you lock the door? You locking me out? <laughs> Hello from Delaware. Oh, he he he's inside. I will tell him that you guys are saying hello. Ah, Rita says, oh, I love stuffed peppers, rice pudding, air fried wings, and, and roasted carrots. Is chicken and dumplings too much? Chicken and dumplings isn't too much for me. But I, and like I said, more than anything, I want to do something quick where when you guys get off of work, you're just going to be able to whip up something really quickly. Like, dang, Gina, that was quick. And I was tired, but it's delicious and so easy to melt. make. Someone says a patty melt. Haha, ha. what about that? Crab salad, chicken pasta. Oh, when we get the ingredients for, oh, when will we get the ingredients for Saturday? I can put the ingredients in tonight. How about that? I have, uh, have a heard of turkey hash. I, I wanted to say yes. I was going to like say it really quickly, but I, I don't know if I have. I'm doing well, Susie Q. How are you? Somebody said, yes, the patty melt says sounds delicious. Oh, patty melt. <laughs> so maybe that's what you guys want. Oh, you meant to say roasted veggies. Okay. Have you had kangaroo steak? I, I absolutely have not. <laughs> a nice quiche that's what someone says have you made i have made hawaiian chicken how is your family doing my family's doing just fine thank you for asking i love some crab cakes here here's the thing and when it comes to the crab cakes i just have to be honest crab cakes can get very very expensive 
and all depend on how many people you're making crab cakes for it can get really really tricky it, it can the prices like you might go to get you some crab and pay i don't know maybe 36 dollars for a can of crab that's the real crab lump meat or maybe 48 dollars yeah it that's what raymond says it ain't cheap no it's not cheap listen okay so i see one that's really nice here someone says how about uh what the heck did they say <laughs> what did they say um uh uh shepherd's pie do you guys want to do shepherd's pie tomorrow live when you guys get home from work yeah she said the lump crab meat right now is 35 dollars a can you bet it is and so that's the only reason why i wouldn't want to do that because i don't feel like i could get a turnout you know a lot of people are saying that the patty melt sounds good Okay, so listen, let's choose between the patty melt, let's see, let's choose between the patty melt and the shepherd's pie. Which one? Patty melt, shepherd's pie, or the quiche? Patty melt, shepherd's pie, or quiche? No shepherd's pie, please, Gina. That's what Tracy Dixon said. She said, no, I don't like it, Gina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let me see what I'm seeing the most of. Patty melt, shepherd's pie, or quiche? Come on, guys. All right, let me see. I might, if I can't see and you guys are getting crazy on here, <laughs> I'm going to put it in a poll and we'll decide. Should I put it in a poll, yes or no? You know, here's the thing. When it comes to me, I'll do anything. I will do just about any anything. Uh-oh, somebody says a poll. Quiche, 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 says Gail. Uh-oh. Pooh says no. The poll. Oh, some people are saying no. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Raymond says the poll. Patty Melt is winning. Is that right? Uh-oh, Sonia says the poll. <laughs> you guys, oh my goodness, y'all are so funny. What is patty melt? I tell, let me tell you what a patty melt is. Patty melt is a hamburger. So you get a hamburger. And those of you that don't eat meat, get your Impossible Burger. Fry that baby up. Pat it dry from the oil, right? Season it up real good. And then you turn around and you put it between two pieces of bread that has cheese on both sides. Put the patty in the middle. You grill it up as if you were making a grilled cheese sandwich. When you cut that baby, guess what's in it? A hamburger patty. And then you also put caramelized onions in it. A patty melt is delicious and it's so easy to make. <laughs> Somebody help me. I might have to do the poll. Never had pouty milk. It does sound, it, it, listen, it's good. But a quiche is delicious too. Come on now. Listen, guys, tell me this. I, I got to ask this question really quickly. Can you guys see me well? Or, or is, it, is it too cloudy where I need to go inside? Somebody let me know. Okay, it, it, it's definitely looking like the patty melt. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose... Uh, what does I see you well mean? I'm not sure. Patty Melt, Keisha's lovely. Thank you. I see you clearly. Okay, you see, you see clearly. Okay. All right, here's what we're going to do. All right, here's what we're going to do. Just a bit blurry. Okay, 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 okay. There's always that person. Always that person is going to say something. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think I get good lighting here. Okay. Yes, I meant clearly. Okay. 
I feel like we're going to turn around. How about, how about after work tomorrow, we all turn around and make a patty melt for dinner and a salad? Does that sound good? Patty melt and a salad tomorrow? Can I get some red hearts if it's yes? Patty melt clearly won, hands down. Okay, patty melt and a salad. That's going to be dinner. All right. So now, what I'm going to do, everybody, listen up. Tomorrow, or tonight, underneath this live, I'm going to post the ingredients for tomorrow. And I'm also going to post the ingredients in the uh, community tab. Okay? And then, tomorrow, I'll post the ingredients for the food that we're going to be cooking Saturday, okay? So I'm clearly gonna say, I'm clearly gonna say it. This is for Thursday. And then when I post the other community tab, I'm gonna say this is for Saturday, okay? So how about we do it? Let me write it down so I don't forget. Okay. Let's see here, I got some paper. Hello everyone. All right, I got so much stuff written down on my paper. All right, perfect. Walmart selling crab meat for $19.85. He said, that's ridiculous. Sweet Vidalia onions, I won't forget them, okay? All right, all right, let's see. We're gonna do a patty melt tomorrow. We're gonna do a nice salad, okay? And, and, and listen, for your salad, I want you guys to put your favorite ingredients in your salad. If you like, you know, whatever you like on your salad, okay? I'm going to tell you what ingredients I like to use, but you guys might not like the ingredients I'm using for my salad. So get your favorite ingredients. Tomorrow, the time. What's the time going to be? And I want you all to keep in mind, uh, people got people work during the week. This is a weekday thing. So tell me what's the perfect time that you guys want to go live tomorrow. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, thank you, Lady Magnolia. Okay, she says 5 p.m. or 6. Okay, 6. I see Raymond says 3. My Holy says 4. Catherine says 6. 6, 6, 6, 5, 4, 5, 5, 6. Cherry tomatoes. <laughs> all right, all right, here, here's the thing. Okay, awesome. Here's what we're going to do. Boom. It's set in stone, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock's not too late to eat, right? Let's do 6 o'clock. Boom. Set in stone. 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, p.m. All right, patty melt. You might not be able to read it. 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Gina Young's going to be going live tomorrow, and I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys, when you come home from work, you want to make a fast meal that doesn't require a lot of ingredients, yet you want it to be delicious, we can make a patty melt. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. <clears throat> when I make a patty melt, hi Shay, how are you? She said, mmm, on rye. That does sound good. Um, when I make a patty melt, I like to use... A really thin burger. You don't want a hamburger this big inside your patty melt. It's just like the worst. So what I've always liked to do is I like to use a frozen burger. Or you could use the impossible burger where it's nice and thin, about this thin. And then you have a regular size sandwich that you can put your mouth over, you know. You know, you make one of them homemade burgers and it's about this big. You can't, you can't get it in there, right? So... I'm either going to purchase frozen burger or an impossible burger because I love, I totally love the flavor. Or you get your burger meat, whatever kind of burger meat you like. But listen, you make sure you patty it out really, really nice and thin. Like as thin as, you know, what you're seeing here. Okay? Patty it out nice and thin. That way when it cooks up, it's going to be delicious. All right? Oh, okay, she said, I use frozen for my patty melts too. It's, it's like you have to. You can't have a big old burger in there, okay? You ever try plant-based ground meat? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. That, yeah. 
Impossible Burger. Um, can Miss Pooh explain what an Impossible Burger is? I, I feel like it's plant-based. You know, I don't know like the ins and outs of it, but I'm telling you one thing. I'm getting close when I'm telling you because this is so true. The Impossible Burger is delicious. It's so good. It's plant-based, I think. Don't quote me, but I believe it's plant-based, but it is so stinking delicious. How about doing a poll in the future? Of a of a favorite fast food item and you show us your version let me see and you show us your version of it a poll about favorite fast food burgers I think that's a great idea now here what you can do if you can remind me of that again maybe this Saturday okay remind me of that again and I'll, I'll, I'll write it down and that's something possibly that we could do okay they are plant-based and she said hashtag vegan okay Okay, that's great. Thank you. And Possible Burgers are delicious. This is not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> I, I just really dig them. They taste so good. Okay. I find it hard to eat. This will make me accountable to eat otherwise. To cook hot. Uh, let's see. To otherwise to. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get your message, Shay. I'm sorry. What cheese is best? Here's the thing. Any kind of cheese that you like to use, me personally, I'm going to be using Kraft Singles because I love it. It's the creamiest, it's the dreamiest, and it's so good, and I love it. Now, if you happen to like pepper jack cheese, you like Kobe, whatever you like. You like Kobe, you like mozzarella, provolone, get you whatever kind of cheese you like, okay? But we are going to use some sweet onions. We're going to saute them babies up. Get your favorite bread that's going to be nice and hearty, that's going to be able to stand up to that meat and that cheese in there, okay? What? The chat is rolling fast. Yes, it is. It's so much fun to be in this chat, says Lady Magnolia. Thank you. Oh, Raymond says, was I think it was Raymond, he said he likes Gouda. Everybody, that's why I said, I want you guys to use your favorite cheese because everybody has like a different cheese that they like. Like you might not like the kind of cheese that I like, you know. Tammy wants to know what you like in your salad. Okay, I like a really different salad and I'm gonna tell you. Uh, thanks for telling me that. So now let's just tell you. Um, I was looking at my phone. I like <clears throat> the frozen peas that I thawed them out of course. So I'm gonna use the salad mix, okay? Frozen peas, I like boiled eggs, I like raw mushrooms, and I like French dressing. That is the perfect salad for me that makes me go berserk. That's what I like. I don't have to have cheese on it. I don't have to have tomato. Um, that's the kind of salad that I like. That's why I said I want you guys to make your own salad because you might not like what I like. So now you guys are probably like lunch meat on yours, like my husband. So if I was to make a salad for my husband, I would do, of course, the salad mix. He likes cucumbers. He likes tomatoes. He likes uh, banana peppers and eggs and ranch dressing. So his salad is completely different. That's why I didn't want to stick you guys with peas, eggs, and mushrooms. You know, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about my salad. Do you think it's crazy or or can you do without it? Oh, okay. JC says, I love tomatoes, onions, cheese, eggs, and croutons. That sounds good. Yes, it does. Okay, let's see what everybody else is saying. Shay says, my favorite salad I used to make, the super salad got to have my frozen peas i love frozen peas but like i said you make sure you thaw them out what do you guys like on your salad i'll keep reading because it's really interesting oh she said i love french dressing then shay me and you are right here and <laughs> we like the same thing on our salad okay so cookie 64 said they like jalapenos and morning star so great products. Oh, okay, okay. I've seen Morningstar before. I would eat any salad. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. Uh, see, I can't. Okay, she says, I can't do the peas. Croutons. I love Thousand Island dressing. Yeah. 
I love fruits. Oh, okay. Now, this person's saying, I love fruits in my salad. Me personally, I will eat like dried cranberries in my salad. I definitely do like that, but just a little bit. And I also like sunflower seeds in a salad. But my favorite salad is what I told you guys about. <laughs> I know when I used to I used to work at this hospital and they made a um, they made a strawberry salad. And what they did, I don't see tomatoes, red onions, cheese, bacon and croutons. Ah, strawberries in a salad is delicious. Okay, listen. So, when I worked at this hospital years ago, years and years and years ago, they used um what the heck is it? What is it, guys? Spinach. They use red onions, they use blue cheese, and then they put strawberries on it. And I can't remember what kind of dress, I think they use a balsamic vinaigrette. But it was the most beautiful salad ever. And when I tried it, I wasn't happy with it. So, I don't know. I'm not that person that makes my salad using spinach. I like to use like, um, uh, radicchio, I like to use, uh, I can't think, why the heck can I think of the lettuce? Uh, I can't think of my lettuce, just a salad mix. I, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm not a fan of the spinach in my salad. Uh oh, somebody doesn't like blue cheese. Iceberg lettuce, there you go, thank you. <laughs> She said blue, so I said blue cheese is for buffalo wings, not salad. <laughs> Somebody says, depends on the fruit you use. <laughs> 20 more thumbs up, says Miss Pooh. I don't use spinach in my salad. So many people like it. I don't. Stephanie said, that's so good. <laughs> Hello, I'm doing well, Barbara. How are you? Oh, Raymond, I have. They're delicious. Oh, pepper jack cheese. I, I love pepper jack cheese. No blue cheese for me. I'm with, <laughs> Ron said, I'm with Mr. Young. So you like the county salad he likes, yeah. But but there are people, they like like um, peaches and they like mandarin oranges in their salad. I can do without it. I just want my famous salad <laughs> that has the eggs, the peas, the raw mushroom and French dressing, I am set and in heaven. Spinach, arugula, or great additions. You know what? Spinach and arugula is very, very healthy. Very, very healthy. I'm not a fan of the arugula. I have to say it. It's too peppery for me. I don't want a lettuce and it's, it's a little too peppery. It, it, it is. It gets me right here. And I'm like, man, that thing is hot. It's just a little peppery, but it's hot to me. Garden salad. Love the eggs in it. It was called Oriental salad, but it took Raymond noodles and, and uh, slivered almonds. I've actually heard of something like that. <laughs> Robin said, you got a good salad going on there. Arugula has that pepper kick. Yes, it does. Got, gotta have the raspberry oh i've tried the raspberry vinaigrette before and i think it's delicious they also had um like an apple vinaigrette i've tried that before and i totally love it karen kirk you said i like cabbage i love cabbage karen have you seen any of my videos for how to make cabbage if you haven't you gotta check no wait are you talking about cabbage for your salad? If so, I think that's really interesting. If so, I think that's really interesting. Guys, I burnt my hand. I don't know if you can tell. Where, where the heck is it? I burnt my hand right here. I was talking to my husband, and I was so excited to talk to him about whatever we was talking about. And he was ironing his clothes. And don't you know, I just put my, I just relaxed my hand right on the iron. And I thought, dang on it. I told him, oh, Romaine. I love Romaine. I told him, I said, I just burnt the daylights out of my hand. He said, well, I wouldn't know it because you didn't jump. I said, I, I was trying to play it off. <laughs> I was trying to play it off. <laughs> it hurt though. So when you guys see tomorrow, oh, you might be able to see. I don't know. When you see tomorrow that I have something here, 
I burned myself with the iron. My goodness. I have lettuce in my refrigerator. I'm going to cut it up tonight. Boil the eggs and shred the cheese. Oh, yeah. Ooh, pickles, pickles. Pickles sounds good. She said raisins with the light dressing. Sonia, that sounds really good. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I got patty melt in a salad. I got it wrote down tomorrow, 6 p.m. Yeah, watch for the scar. And me... With my, how my skin is set up, <laughs> my skin, like, accepts scars, you hear me? Man, and my scar will be there for about a good, I don't know. I mean, it heals well. I just don't like the color because it'll be darker than my skin, you know. But we'll manage. There goes the, the raisins, huh? <laughs> 6 p.m. You will be there, says Creel. Okay. I'm so excited. So listen here. Someone, um, sounds, what type of bread for the patty melt? I'm going to use like, um, you'll either see me use a potato bread. I might use like a white hearty bread. And then I might use um, like a butter bread. Nothing too, too crazy. Just a nice bread. Not a little tiny one, but you know the bread that's a little bit bigger like this. Okay, hold on, guys. Let me. Sorry, y'all. Let me fix my husband's bracelet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me put it on you, honey. Okay, give me a kiss. Love, Love you, you, baby. Love you. Yes to the grapes. Oh, you want grapes in yours. Miss, oh, he left. The door's closed. I'll definitely tell him in Dakota that you guys said hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he has the hardest time trying to get that daggone thing snapped. So whenever he wants to wear it, I got to put it on. On mushrooms. Listen, on the patty melt, that's a great question. Can you put mushrooms on it? Absolutely you can, and that baby would be good. But I'm not gonna do that. There's so many people that don't like mushrooms. You know, um, I feel like if it was just me at home, maybe I would. But you're definitely gonna need uh, sauteed onions, a nice sweet onion to go on there. Red, purple cabbage shredded is good in a salad. It is, yeah it is. We all are, that's why we're here. Let's see, I will try not to, let's see, I will try, I'm not computer tech. What are you going to try to do, Karen? You don't have to be a computer tech. Is it to go, um, what, what are you saying that for? I tell you what, something just made my nose feel like I need to sneeze. But literally, sorry guys, at the moment the wind is blowing, so maybe it's pollen or something. I don't like carrots at all. <laughs> Gherkins, yes, they are good. Hold on, guys. I really got to blow my nose. One second. I'm still here. I ain't going nowhere. I tell you what, that wind got to blowing and really, really made my nose start itching. I think I'm better now. I think I'm okay. <laughs> okay, so somebody said this earlier. When I posted the community tab saying that Gina Young was going to be going live, just talking to you guys today, I thought, let's see, she hates to cook, and I grew up cooking. Oh, my goodness. It's Rose. Eight, hey, y'all. Let's see, faces and chat. Why do you not like carrots? Oh, I don't like carrots at all. Um, there's not a reason. I don't like the taste. Why do you not like carrots? Let's see. That's the lettuce. I buy carrot lettuce. Oh, 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 yeah. Now, when you buy um, the, the salad mix that has a little bit of shredded carrots in it, I can do that. But if you purposely put carrots in it, I, I, I don't want that. I don't like carrots. <laughs> you guys always ask me, like, what is it that you don't like? I'm not a fan of carrots. I'm not a fan of bananas. Nope. 
No. I'll tell him you said hi. Um, so listen, when I posted that I was going to be um, going live today, I had said that we needed to think of some fun stuff to talk about today. And someone had made a comment and they said, um, uh, let's talk about, so if you guys won the lottery, what did they say? Hold on, let me see exactly what they said. Hold on. I'm going to figure it out. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Some, they say, I got one. What would we do? Hold on. What would we do if one of us won the Mega Millions? Okay. So uh, that was the Let me see who this is here. Urban culture hello sup lady <laughs> hi how are you welcome to Jeannie young live okay listen oh it was cindy bates okay thank you so listen if we won or if you won if you won what would you do what would you do like what is the first thing you would do and then here's the thing what's the first thing you guys would do and then what's the second thing you guys would do Somebody let me know. Shirley Clark, hello. I, I see, I think everybody's thinking about their answer. Oh, she said the real patty melt is rye bread. Okay, let me see. Uh, cabbage shredded. It's pretty much like a coleslaw. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not making a Reuben now. The Reuben has, yeah. When I make my, <laughs> here, here, let me just say this real quick. When I make my patty melt, my patty melt is going to have a hamburger. It's going to have cheese. It's going to have a hamburger. It's going to have cheese. It's going to have sauteed onions, and we're going to grill that baby. That's how we're going to make it Jeannie Young style, okay? What was the question? The question was, if you were to win the lottery right now, if you win the lottery right now, what's the first and the second thing you're going to do? Tell me. Oh, okay, here's the first one. She said, uh, cake lady said, I'm going to Belize. <laughs> okay. Okay. I would pay. Okay. This is Valencia. I would pay my bills and help my family and charity. Okay. Derek Eads. If I won Mega Millions, what would you do? Okay. That was the question. Oh, Fuza says open a restaurant. Derek, if you want. Okay. 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 They're just to. Okay. Deborah said the first thing I would do is scream. <laughs> okay. First time in second start a scholar. Let's see. Scholarship fund. Okay. Uh oh. Karen says pay off the bills and help people out. Pay okay, let me see what he said. Uh oh, hold on guys. Okay, let me see. Pay pay my car off. Also have a huge youth center built. Ah, that's very nice. Okay, very nice. Belize, yes, yeah, she said you're gonna love it there. I've never been a been there. Huh? No, I haven't. I don't have a grill. California here. Hello, Paul Freed. How are you? Bora Bora. Okay, my goodness. Okay, so the first thing I would do is I think the first thing I would do is uh, start packing. <laughs> start packing. That's the first thing I would do. <laughs> and then the second thing I would do is I cut. I um. I, I got to think about it because I would definitely be moving. Um. So you know. Okay, Urban Culture said, I would love a cruise to Belize. <laughs> Open a restaurant named Gina Young. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, yeah, first thing I would do is I would be like, okay, let's 
pack. And then again, I think about it, all depending on how much we won when I say the Mega Million, everything might stay in this house. And we just say, let's go, right? <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I really got to think about that. <laughs> Gina, off topic really quickly, but before the summer ends, can you make a lemon blueberry cake? Uh, sure. How do you shop and stuff for your recipes? Um, I order it. I order it. It's, it's, it's no fun for me to go shopping anymore. And, and when I say not fun, I just, I just, honestly, I want to stay away from germs. And then it's, um... I don't want, did you find it? Um, I want to stay away from germs. That's number one. And then number two, and then number two is uh, everywhere that I go, everybody knows me. And and it does begin, begin to get a little scary. You know, even, even if, you do you got it, baby? You got it. Okay, I love you. Sorry, guys. My husband couldn't find his wallet. Lord have mercy. I knock him in his head. Yeah, he loses it every day. He said, don't tell him I lose it every day. He, but he, lo he loses it in the house. I'm going to knock him upside his head. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I go to the store. I can wear my mask. And my husband couldn't believe it. And he's like, they, how, how do they know who you are with your mask on? I'm like, I don't know. But it begins to get scary when people don't care about walking up to you. You know, like really walking up to you. I had this guy standing this close to me and I'm looking like, okay. Okay, let me get away. Let me, let me, let me find an exit, you know. Um, but I, I, just, I just find it better to, 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 to order our food now. <laughs> and like I said, it keeps us safe from germs and all that stuff. So... That's how I do my shopping. But what I like to do is when I'm getting ready to do a video, like I don't have the ingredients for the patty melt right now. So tonight before I go to bed, I'll write down the ingredients, everything that I'm going to need, and then I'll turn around and order it and set it up to be delivered at a certain time in the morning. Boom, that's it. Uh, uh, is it Kathy? Cindy, she said, I'm the same way. Gina, you owe Oh. Aww. Hi, I see someone says hi, everybody. Margaret, how are you? Latasha, hello. How you doing? I, I told you guys about the guy. Did I tell you guys about the guy that um, was standing at the exit that I needed to go out of? And he was at the exit. And let me show you what he was doing. So he had his hands crossed. Let me see if my camera will come down a little bit. He had his hands crossed like this, right? And he was waiting. You could, it was obvious that he was waiting on me. So his arms was crossed, right? Okay, okay, so I, I thought I told you guys, but I'll just tell you again. And if you heard it, you may have heard the story. So this is, how many houses ago? This is when I first started YouTube. I can't remember how many subscribers I had at that point. But I so I go to this store and I was by myself. I did some shopping and when I'm paying for my food, I notice that there is a gentleman standing there and he's got his hand, his arms crossed. And this guy, he his eyes was bloodshot red, right? He I I mean I, I'm not going to say he looked scary, but I knew he was looking at me, right? His arms was crossed. And so I I, I look up, because I know you can feel when somebody's looking at you, right? You can just feel when somebody's looking at you. So I look up, and I connect the eyes with him just for a second, and I'm thinking, okay, what's this guy up to? So he turns around. Oh, sorry for your loss, Miss Pooh. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I, I'm just now seeing the message. Is Miss Pooh okay? Miss Pooh, are you okay? I 
see someone said sorry for your loss, Miss Pooh. Is Miss Pooh okay? Okay, I may have missed something. Okay, so let me finish with my story. I may have missed something. Yes, Gina, thanks. It was comment about my... Oh relocating to Belize oh sorry yes sorry to hear about that oh okay okay so let me let, let me finish so the guy was standing there he had his hands his arms crossed and I could tell he looked was looking at me and so like I said I was shopping by myself and the guy when he seen me connect eyes with him it was just a real quick cuz I don't look at people I do not look at people. You may see me, I see you, but I will not look at you. I don't look at nobody. I don't eye contact with nobody. But I felt like I had to to see what this guy was doing and what he was up to because I could feel him looking at me, right? So, when I look at him like this, okay, and then I mind my own business, and he said, uh-huh. I told you guys this before. He said, "Uh huh." I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to repeat what he said. Ah, uh -huh. he's like, he's like, when you said, when you said you was gonna see us later, I didn't know you meant in real life. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what is going on? He was like, there you are. He was like, I knew it was you. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, right? So I got checked out. The guy checked me out, and the the person at the register was kind of looking at me like what's going on like is everything okay and then he said a couple other words that I don't remember and I was thinking all oh, shucks the next thing I was wondering how I'm gonna get out this door I don't even know if the guy is right there and I was just like I can't remember I can't remember what I did but I got to my car got the groceries to my car I can't remember if I had somebody um, from the store like walk me out to my car and from there my husband was like mm -mm. he was like for now when you go to the store you uh i take you you know <laughs> i will take you next time and now it's to the point to where i i just order i just order because people come up to me not that i don't love you guys like i love you guys from the bottom of my heart i'm always happy to see y'all um, and I'm always so happy to talk to you and see new people and people say, hey, I'm so-and-so, do you know my name? And I'm like, yes, I remember, I know exactly who you are. Or I don't know. Or people will just stand like this close to me, like looking at me and I'm thinking, okay. So I'm very, very uncomfortable. So, you know, that's that. <laughs> it, it is creepy. Yes, yes, it was creepy. And I think, I can't remember my husband, I think my husband was upset. He was like, you should have called me. He was like, I would have been at that store in 0 0.2 seconds, right? But it just didn't, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't. So I just didn't. <laughs> and that was when I first started the channel. I may have had 100,000 subscribers. But now that, you know, where we're at now, it's just like, it, it's kind of scary a little bit. Yeah, there is stalkers around there. That's why you got to be very, very careful. You use Instacart? Okay, yeah. Like, if like if we do something like order, um, if we order um, something, I don't answer the door. Um, like, someone else will answer the door. You know, things like that. <laughs> we might be a little bit more too cautious, but the, I, I'd like to be more cautious than anything, you know. <laughs> I'm so glad we got great weather today great weather it's not hot out today <laughs> Gina you should have yelled stranger danger I did something I want to say I would really like to say I had one of the people from the store 
walk me out to my car. And I think that was the last time I went to that store because quickly after that, we moved. So. <laughs> yeah, you're right, K Fastic. Elastic TV, yes, you are absolutely right. You know, you can't be too cautious, you know. Oh, you're 102 today? Oh my goodness, let's see. The weather, of course. Um, we have good weather here, too, in Illinois, but watch out for next week. Oh my goodness, is that right? So right now, I... I I don't really know what the weather is, although I am over like a little awning that we have. So I'm not actually sitting out in the sun, but it feels great. It feels like it's about 80 degrees. I got the wind blowing a little bit. I'm so happy right now. I'm doing fine, Melinda. How are you? Freaks of nature is out there. Be careful. Finally, a day without rain. Oh, really? So you've been getting a lot of rain? Listen, I'm so happy when we get rain around here. We don't, we, we, lately we have been getting some rain, but it hasn't been a whole lot, but I'm thankful for the rain that we've been getting because the, the flowers, the grass and all that stuff can get water. I'll watch out for the weather for next week. And listen, guys, I have something that I want to tell you guys. I have something that I want to tell y'all, but I think I'm going to wait. I'm trying to think of the right time to tell you guys. It's so exciting. Um, it's something unexpected. Uh, what else? What else do I want to say about it? I don't want to give too much about it. Um, but you'll just see. You'll see, because I'll wind up doing a video on it, or we'll talk about it during the live. You never know, okay? You never know, but this is really exciting, interesting, shocking, all, all of the above. <laughs> Gail, can we guess? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why am wait? Why am I saying sure? And I'm not ready to reveal what it is. <laughs> I, here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, I'm not a clap. Um. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. What What do I want to say? Um. Here's what I'll say. You can guess. Okay. Listen. Just put it this way. You can guess, right? And if you guys are wrong, I'll just say you're cold, cold, cold. If somebody gets Close, I'm gonna say you're warm. You guys remember that game? Remember how you would hide something when we were little? Or, or did you guys play that game? Don't tease us. <laughs> listen, listen. Um, remember uh, when we were little, at least when I was little, we played a game and we would hide something. And when you got close to it, you would say, hot, you're hot, you're steaming hot. Or if you was if they was nowhere near it, you would say, oh, you're cold, you're cold, you're freezing cold. Okay, so we can do that, but here's the thing. If somebody answers it, I'm still not going to say it, okay? Okay, so right now, the, an the, quest the answers that I'm seeing right now, it's extra cold, okay? <laughs> it's extra cold. <laughs> I don't know if you guys would even be able to guess this because it's, it's, it's different. Okay, so every once in a while, I'll chime in. I might even purposely skip some of your answers if you guys want to play like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me, let me see if I can get my, my face in the camera because I want to kind of lean back a little bit. Okay, so right now I'm seeing... <laughs> you guys... You guys are coming up with some of the craziest stuff already. Guys, listen. I just have to I just have to chime in real quickly and say laugh out loud at some of the answers that you guys are giving me. I'm going to purposely skip over some. Okay? And I know I know that's not how you play the game, Gina. Gina, but that's not how you play the game. You are teasing us right now. <laughs> okay? Listen, right now I'm seeing some cold. 
it's not a question. I just said I have some news for you guys. It could be exciting. It could be shocking. It could be interesting. It could be overwhelming. It could be uh, scary. It, there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot of feelings into this thing here. Um, but like I said, I'm not ready to tell it yet. <laughs> it, but I, I do want to say it's nothing bad. You know, I don't want nobody to think it's anything bad. Okay. So, some of the stuff that I've seen here oh, oh, for your answers is interesting. Um, what I see right now. Deborah said bye. Okay, see you later. All right, so what up? Let's see. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Let me read. Is Derek Eads okay? <laughs> huh? Okay. No collaboration. <laughs> she said DM me to answer. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Okay, 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 okay. What I'm saying okay doesn't mean I'm going to tell you guys. Not yet. But when the time is right, I'm going to reveal what I have, what's getting ready to happen. So, just be waiting on some really interesting, shocking, scary, exciting news from Gina Young. Okay? <laughs> Yeah, Ron said, we played that game a lot. He said, we also played I Spy. <laughs> a huge, oh, okay, someone does say a huge giveaway. I do want to address that. A giveaway, a big giveaway is coming up. And the giveaway is coming up when I reach a million. So that is like definite set in stone. But that's not what I'm talking about, okay? So be looking forward to, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. I see some answers, and I'm going to act like I don't see some answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay but i see some people there was like a little well let me do i want to say warm you know what lukewarm is where you're cold you know you know how you put your baby in lukewarm bath if they're if they have a temperature so it's not hot but it is a little cool, you know, to bring their temperature down. So that's where we were at. We didn't get to warm. I didn't say warm, so don't nobody try to say that. Uh. But listen, don't strain your brains. No sponsorship. Uh, uh, okay. So I have some exciting news. Valencia thinks she knows. And Gail said, which one was war? <laughs> okay, somebody says writing a cookbook. Somebody says TV. Ella says hot. Uh, Christopher said, I'm waiting. <laughs> she will make the potato salad with raisins is the breaking news. Are you serious? I'm not going to make potato salad with raisins. <laughs> Cooking show with you. Uh, uh, renewing your vows. No, that's it. No, no, that's not it. I said, no, that's it. You know I didn't mean that. But we do want to renew our vows. That's not the news, though. We do want to renew our vows. And we was thinking, like, where would we do that at? Like, that's really... Because when we got married... Listen, guys. When we got married... um. We just went down to the courthouse. We just went down to the courthouse, just the two of us, and it was amazing. It was so, it, it was like it was romantic. It was so romantic. And then after that, we turned around and we went to Cedar Point afterwards. <laughs> we did. Guys, and listen, I had on like um, some plaid shorts and I had on just a plain shirt that um, was like a V-neck. I think I would, I'd like to say my husband had plaid shorts on. He had, or no, he had some type of shorts. So I can't remember what he had on. 
but we just sat, we just relaxed, guys. It was just the two of us at the courthouse. <laughs> so that's how we got married, because I know you guys have asked me before, like, Gina, where's your marriage pictures? We, you know, and, and back then, when we got married, we didn't carry cell phones around, like, with us 24-7 in our pockets, you know. So I would love to renew them for pictures, you know. Okay, Faith, I see your message, but I would say you're kind, you're cool. Let's see, I'm G Gina Young Conference 2023, okay. Audition for the next Food Network star. Let's see, that's what I, that's what it's all about being, let's see, we've been married, oh, we've been married 40 years, oh my goodness. Show us a photo. I don't, I don't have a wedding photo. That's what that's what I was saying. Am I warm? What did you say, Derek? <laughs> and Derek says, "Am I warm?" The Lord hates the Lord hates lukewarm. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, or okay, she says, Gina. I know we got it. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. But you guys will find out. Okay, it's so exciting kind of scary <laughs> kind of nervous um some people I, guys listen there is a huge fly and when i say the fly is big the fly is huge and it keeps running into it keeps running into the wall it's like it wants to go in the house do you guys want to see this fly I'm going to flip the camera over so you can see this fly. This fly is from outer space. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Come on. Where'd the fly go? Where did you go? Okay, can you guys see that fly? Tag on it. It looks like a little tiny, a little teeny thing. But it's huge. Hold on. Hold on. I can't. Hold on. Look how big it is. Wait till it gets up here. It's about to get up here. Hold on. Look how big. Look how big. Look how big. Get on up here. You little stinker. Ooh, it's underneath there. Hold on. That's a fat fly. Hold on. Whack him, Gina. <laughs> Where the heck did it go? Okay, let me see. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's gone. I think it went somewhere else. Now, that's the window I was looking through, guys. Let me flip it. Ah, uh, somebody says a cooking competition. Somebody says opening up a catering business. Oh, somebody said horse, horse flies a bite. I don't want that thing to bite me. That thing, no, honestly, seriously. You when I was when I had the camera on it, you really couldn't see how big it was. But okay, if I wasn't exaggerating, I'd like to say the fly was this big. Seriously. Like, no exaggeration. That's how big the fly is. She said, grab a fly wa a fly swatter. <laughs> it's in the house. Okay, hey, Eva said, the suspense is not fair. You shouldn't say that you have something to tell us. Then leave us hanging. I'm not leaving you guys hanging. Like, I love you guys, okay? So just don't know, don't worry that it's anything bad because it's nothing bad, okay? It's just something I want to share with you guys. Eventually, I'm going to have to share it anyway. So, Raymond says, I give up. <laughs> I'm not going to, Tiani or Tiani, she says, Gina, are you going to tell us? Not today. <laughs> ah, not today, guys, but I will. But I will. I was talking to my husband about it. And he's like, yeah, you're going to say something. And I'm like, okay, well, it's going to happen soon. I might just be telling you guys like next week or Saturday or something. I'm not going to keep you in suspense forever. Oh, Stephanie, she said, I love anticipation. <laughs> I kind of like anticipation a little bit too. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> See, she didn't say no. I think she's going to be... 
<laughs> oh, Master Chef. Oh, you guys are coming up with some good ones. <laughs> Whatever it's going to be, God bless it. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody said something in the oven? <laughs> Gina Young, you are quitting YouTube to do Netflix. No, that's not true. I'm not going to quit YouTube. <laughs> Oh, so some, so a lot of you all are saying, I can't wait. I'm so glad. I want to give you guys something to look forward to. It was, it had to be a horse fly, Ron. I know, Christopher. They're peer pressure in me. They're peer pressure in me. <laughs> oh, he said they bite and it hurts. And here's the thing. I don't know where it went. I don't know where the heck it went. Well, somebody says Gina's cake, Gina's line of cakes and pies. Listen, I definitely wouldn't do a line of cakes and pies because I don't make homemade cakes a lot except for my pound cake. And I don't make a lot of pies, although I do make them, you know, so that wouldn't be something I would specialize in, you know. Never succumb to peer pressure. <laughs> right. <laughs> Aw. You guys are amazing. Get Dakota. He can get that fly. Yeah, he can. I'm not going to give in. No, I'm not. But like I said, it's not, it, it, I'll tell you guys very soon. <laughs> but okay, I got to give you something to think about, you know. Somebody said spring baking challenge. <laughs> I, you, you know, somebody said the cookbook. I, 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 I want to do a cookbook so bad. I want to do a cookbook so bad. I don't know where to start. I don't, here's the thing. Number one, I got to find the time. You know, I got to find the time, right? And then I got to figure out where to start. I gotta figure out where to start when it comes to my cookbook. I already feel like I know what I would want to have in my cookbook. Like, you know, what recipes. I wanna, I, 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 there's a lot to think about when it goes, when, when you start thinking about doing a cookbook. And I know the world wants Gina Young to do a, a, a cookbook. And I'm gonna do it, I just don't know when. That's not the secret. But I just don't know when. When is the right time? When am I going to have the time to do it, you know? It'd be nice if I could say, hey, could you write me a cookbook for me? And I pay you. <laughs> you know, that's kind of what I feel like I want to do. Um, I don't feel like it's being lazy. I just, we, we are always so busy. We are always so busy. Stop guessing. You guys can stop guessing now. <laughs> Products in grocery stores. Oh my goodness, Gina's voice over a happy character. <laughs> you are revealing your backyard swimming pool. No, not yet. No, not yet. That's my collaboration. You get minded people who uh, through a cookbook. Let's see, are the puppies fixed? Maybe breeding. Oh, no. my Here, listen. So my puppies are not fixed. They're not breeding neither. But um, I do want to get them fixed. I know it's $600 a piece. Um, I want to get them fixed. Um, I don't want them to come back. I, I'm just not ready to go through them having to wake up and we're not there and they're in pain. If that's just going to be like the worst. But I do want to get them fixed at some point. I don't know when. And I and I pray that when I get them fixed that it doesn't change their temperament and change their behavior. Because they are like the best dogs ever. They have great behavior. They listen. They follow commands. And I've heard people say that if you get your dogs uh, fixed, their temperament might change. Their behavior might change. And that's one thing that I don't want. Let me know you guys' opinion. Uh, let's 
Let's see, y'all, somebody. Let's see, somebody. This is so funny. Well, she didn't say anything about my comments, so maybe she's having a baby. That's what somebody says. <laughs> Gina Spices. That's what somebody else says. <laughs> oh, see, Ashley says, yes, that definitely can happen. Okay, let's see. First Saturday live in August, we choose subscribers' favorite meal. We all cook it live. Oh, okay, okay. Let me see. I'm getting some notifications on my phone. Ah, uh, thank you. Cindy Bates, hello. Okay, she's, Faith says, my dogs are fixed and they still play and have some trance or, or, or temperament. Is that what you said? Um, and they, uh, temperament. Oh, okay. <laughs> her, her, her macaroni and cheese will be sold in stores. <laughs> well, I tell you what, the macaroni and cheese will not be sold in stores. Not as of right now. <laughs> But that was a good one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, somebody said that'll be beautiful, Gina, if you're having a baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. Am I good at hiding? Am I good at hiding uh, my thing whatever I have to tell y'all <laughs> uh, you're welcome Sue thank you for watching <laughs> she said yes you are <laughs> uh oh Elaine says no you're not <laughs> That would be shocking, as you said earlier, if you're having a baby. Oh, my goodness. I just have to say, let's just let's just cut that one. Let's just cut that one right at the head. No, no baby. Okay, boom. So that one's done. Okay, so see, I'm working with you. I'm working with you. I'm working with you guys. Listen, my tubes are tight. My tubes are tight. <laughs> and listen, I had, I had a really interesting... Um, I had a really interesting uh, procedure done after I had Dakota. So what I had done was something called a, yeah, the baby's out of the question. So let me go ahead and just tell you now. Okay. Um, after I had Dakota, I had a procedure done called Esher procedure. I, I, I think it's E-S-U-R-E -E, procedure. I don't know how you spell it, <laughs> but what they do is they put copper coils in your tubes and 30 days later you come back and you get the tubes checked to make sure your tubes grew over the copper coils enclosed. And what, how they check that is they put dye in your system and if the dye doesn't run out of the coils or the tubes, then your tubes grew over the copper coils or, or however that goes or the corals or the coils copper coils closed your tube so that's what I had done and they told me they said so you know after you have the surgery you might have um, a little bit of pain or no pain I had no pain and I haven't had any issues and so that's been a long time because you know how old Dakota is but um, that's a procedure that I had and I was very happy with that procedure Oh, you can substitute the chicken for salmon, okay? So if you want to use, get a chicken breast or a chicken thigh, and you, um, you can cook it exactly how we're going to do the salmon, okay? Absolutely you can. Thank you, Sonia. I'm a, oh, Catherine says, I'm allergic to all metal except gold and silver. Oh, no, I'm not hiding a baby bump. My tubes are tied. That's what I just said. <laughs> My tubes are tied. <laughs> when it comes to my stomach, it's just a big old stomach. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, thank you, Lorenza, Mallory. Listen, if I ever, um, like, say your names wrong, please forgive me, okay? Do you have, you do have a poker face, okay? But Gina Young, let me see, this is so funny, but Gina Young Conference is going down, okay? If that's what you think. <laughs> You're giving us suspense here. He said, tell us, Gina. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I love you guys. She said, that would be baby news. No. Mm -mm. But, oh, let's talk about that. They did say that if you wanted to, and I don't want to, <laughs> Uh, they said if you wanted to, you could get the copper coils out, and then if a person wanted to, they could possibly have a baby. I'm not doing that, but no, we're not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> the copper coils are in there to stay. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say something, but I'm not going to give it away. Did you take my ideal into consideration? Tell me um, which one. <laughs> what, which, which ideal? Tell me, give me a, a little smidget of which idea. Can you reverse it? Yeah, you can. You can. And that's really interesting that you can. Oh, no, no. Somebody said, are you hiding a baby bump? It's really rude. No, Leslie, it's okay. I promise. I don't care about that. That's like the last thing that I would worry about. I don't care. I don't care. That's one thing I don't care about. I remind you of Kim Fields. Okay. So many people say so many different things. There's people that say Lisa left eye. There's people that says, uh, what's the other lady you guys say? Um, Jill Scott. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so many people say so many different things. And I don't think any of them. <laughs> I made your shrimp patties and, and they were all that I can't get enough. Oh, that's great. Shrimp patties. Shrimp patties are delicious. I tell you what. So someone mentioned earlier that they want to do, want me to do a uh, uh, crab cake. I do want to make a crab cake one day for you guys, and I definitely will. So I don't know when that'll be, but but we'll make it. Uh, uh, Gigi Bean, I see your message. Uh oh, Adija, uh, Adija. I, hopefully, I'm saying your name right. They say, yeah, that's it. I love crab cakes. Sonia said, no, baby. Gina, I asked you three times. Oh, 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 oh. I have given it some thought. I have given it some thought, um, uh, Miss Pooh. I have given it some thought. And how about um, when I message you tonight, I'm going to tell you what I think. Now, uh... You definitely, I am originally from Columbus, Ohio, born and raised, and we moved from there last year to here. So we moved from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, okay, I'm going to message you tonight, Miss Pooh, okay? Thank you, Dolores and... Now, Miss Pooh, here's what I'm going to have to do. And I believe Sonia. I'm going to give you guys another email, okay? And the purpose for me giving you guys this other email is because the email that you guys have is an email that I don't answer a lot. I don't barely look at it a lot, okay? So, um, tonight, I know Ron Wilson already has it. Tonight, I'm going to email you guys and say this is my email that i look at daily okay that way i can't miss anything okay because you guys could be emailing me and i'm like uh okay i didn't get it you know or i, I may have just scanned through it and didn't open it
are you going to have your own special seasonings in the grocery stores? <laughs> you guys are still guessing. Don't still guess. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm not going to say yes or no right now. <laughs> oh, you don't know. You don't. Um, you, I'm going to be honest with you. Whoever just said, Shirley says, I don't know how to email. If you don't, you can definitely get someone to show you how. Or um, you can look up on Google what you need to do to, to email. Uh, what is Raymond saying? No, I'm done. I'm done. You're done. <laughs> no, like I said, it won't be long. I'm going to be telling you guys. I'm going to just pop it on you like wham. So guess what? Okay, that's how it's going to go. It's just going to knock you over the head. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, guess what? So here's here's the deal. Okay, here's the deal. It's not, you shouldn't be nervous. It's nothing to be nervous about. But you might have all types of feelings. A lot of people might have some opinions, some really strong opin opinions about what's going to be. <laughs> Derek, one hint. No, I'm done. Uh uh. You said a hint? Let me see. I'm not going to let y'all peer pressure me. M Mr. Young needs to get in the video. <laughs> let me see. It, let me see. If I could give a hint. Um, what might my hint be? Let me think. Uh, no hints. Okay, no hints. <laughs> hint, please. Right after she says no hint, Gail said hint, please. <laughs> if I could give a hint, I'm thinking. That doesn't mean I'm getting ready to give you a hint right now. I'm just thinking if I could give a hint, what would it be? Um... Um, I don't know. I don't know because I feel like any hints that's given out, you guys are going to guess it right away. You guys are going to guess it right away. <laughs> Sonia, you are so funny. She said a teeny, a teeny, teeny hint. <laughs> Yeah, it will. The hints will lead to it. Yes, it will. <laughs> yeah, there, I don't think you can give a hint with this because if you give a hint, you'll know it. And it won't be no surprise. <laughs> Dolores said, don't do it. Don't do it, Gina. Prince and Polo are not getting their show as of right now. Um, but that is something to think about. This That's not the surprise or anything. But that is something to think about, possibly. I do got to figure out how I'm at... I, I got to get them to the point to where they stop barking at people. You know, here's the thing. We love that before somebody hits that door, if they hit... If they, you know, just as, as much as come close to the front or the back door. Around the windows, anywhere around the house, the dogs is barking. We love that. But we don't love that if you if somebody walks past them, that they're just barking up a storm. So we want them to still bark in the house, right? But we want to be able to sit out on the porch, you know, on the front porch, and somebody walks by, maybe possibly with their dog or with their kid, and they're not barking up a storm. It kind of gets embarrassing a little bit. So I'm like, shh, shh, stop. Stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a... <laughs> she said hints. Hints for $200. <laughs> what, are we, what are we playing? Jeopardy here? <laughs> mm. So remember I told you guys that my tooth that I have the implant, I think it's back here somewhere. So the filling came out. I guess there's a filling in the bottom of it. And I guess that filling is how you get 
into it and unscrew it and take it out. I'm gonna, I have an appointment coming up so I can get that closed back up. So I think they have to take it out, clean it out, fill it back up and throw it back up there. So that's coming up soon and I'm really excited about that. Put the leash on them on the porch when they when they bark, snatch the leash. Eventually, okay, let me see. When they bark, snatch the leash, eventually they will get the message. But you have to be consistent. Yeah, I don't we don't put them on a leash. They don't run away. They don't run away from us. They don't um try to get off the porch if somebody, you know, is walking by. I was trying to read somebody's message, but it just went by so fast. I'm not going to pull the message back down. <laughs> oh, guys, I love y'all so much. So what are some of you guys this? Listen, what are some of y'all favorite childhood memories? I've, all, I've Let's see. I've already told you guys uh some of my favorite childhood memories you guys know what mine's is already um and if you don't know i'll tell y'all again but let me hear what some of your favorite childhood memories are or or was Somebody said, don't stop the dogs from barking. They could just be saying hello. Okay. Oh, Sonia says, I have so many. What is it? Tell me what your childhood memory is. Your favorite childhood memory. I mean, and when I say child, you, it could still be like a teenage memory. You know, playing outside. Let me see. Let me see. Playing outside with friends. Oh, man, that's your childhood memory? That's great. Right? Nothing like it, right? Let's see. I love going to Coney Island. Oh, okay. Someone says that TJ says the 90s period. Making mud cakes and jumping in puddles. I tell you one thing. I jumped in puddles. I had a friend, we jumped in puddles. We had a ditch in my front yard and that, and that ditch would fill up with rainwater and I'd jump in that baby. <laughs> Shoes off, shorts on, playing hop, hop, sop. I don't know what hop, sop is. She said, I grew up on the south side of Chicago, not having to fight every day. Oh, riding my 10 speed, playing, Let's see, playing freeze tag and kickball with my sister. Oh, that's nice. Going to Cedar Point. Oh, wow. Yeah. Peeling greens and snapping green beans with grandma. Going to fairs at young age and just outside activities. Okay. Okay, that's great. Where's the dogs at? You got Prince, too, because I only see Polo. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, no, I'm okay. Um, do they need to go pee pee? Take them out and bring them back in. And then, uh, where, where do you have the dogs? Yeah. All right, take them to use the bathroom. They're looking at me. Going to the country, South Carolina. Oh my goodness. I'm doing well, Random. How are you? Going to the community center. Oh, we don't see her packing yet, so it can't be that. <laughs> <laughs> okay have you ever been to washington dc i haven't i haven't having my family all alive spending time with them playing baseball and bats okay okay hopscotch okay riding my big wheel in my aunt's basement with my cousins while my aunt played music oh what a great memory my goodness Cleaning and gutting fish with my dad. Oh, that's a great memory. You guys 
guys got some great memories. Let's see. New hairstyle, no. Let's see. The Greyhound bus was an adventure, especially when you had the seats with the tables. Oh, man. Spinning tops, playing games, and playing bingo. Oh, I'm I'm try I'm slowing them down. I'm trying to read all of them, but I can't. So mine's was um, go pee pee, guys. Go out there to pee pee. You see Prince? Look at him. <laughs> go pee pee. And there's Polo. Um, so mine's was going swimming. Uh, swimming lessons and going to the uh, recreation center. Uh, when I went to the recreation center, we was able to have free lunch. That was always delicious. And then after free lunch was over, um, I played on the playground for about an hour. Swimming pool opened back up. I was back in that swimming pool playing. That was just like the highlight of my childhood. I loved it so much. I mean, it, it was. That's just what I like to do. I went to the recreation center. They was playing uh, pool. They was playing soccer. They was playing uh, frisbee. They they played like everything at the recreation center, and it was just like it was like being with a lot of family. It was. And when I was at the swimming pool, there was a lady that worked there. Her name was Joy, and she let me know that she knows my dad <laughs> and that she was watching me, you know, and I knew that Miss Joy was always there, and she was watching me. <laughs> so if I ever had, you know, an issue or, you know, question or, or whatever, I knew to go to Miss Joy. <laughs> Swimming in the creek, what a great memory. Okay, I like that. Playing in my grandma's hair. Oh, she was part Indian. That's nice. Cookouts with family. Going to the skating rink was another one for me. Now, that was more of when I was a teenager. Listen, I have to tell you guys this, and you might laugh at me. So, I would go when I was a teenager. I, I, don't, I can't remember how old. Um, maybe a preteen. I don't know. But... Um, I would go to the skating ring. I think it was called USA Skates. I think that's what it was called. Um, but they had like this middle that was a circle and then you could skate around. You could skate in the inside a little bit, but people mostly skated on the outside. Or there was like this stage. There was a little stage. Hold on, baby. You can go inside. Okay. You want to say hi? Hold on, hold on. Let me get you. Let me get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. Say hi. Can you say hi, Tuki, Tuki, Tuki? Say hi. Look how happy he looks, guys. I told you. Hey, dear. Okay, give me that baby so he can say hi. Oh, ho, ho, ho. can you say hi? Look how happy they look. Say hi, Tuki, 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 Tuki. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh. so I, I'm at... I'm at the uh, skating rink, and um, so there was like a stage, and people were dancing on that stage. People were dancing in the middle. People were skating on the outside. I was on the stage, and guess what I was doing? I was dancing. I was that one up there dancing, crazy dancing to every song. Dancing to every song that came on. And I had like one friend that I would go up there with. And uh, it was so much fun to go up there with her. Um, <laughs> so that that's that story. But we had the time of our lives. And when skating was over, um, maybe her family picked us up and took us back home. Or my dad would pick us up, take us back home. But that was a great memory as well. I forgot about skating. <laughs> Dakota, what do you have? Sorry, guys. Oh, she's Dolores said USA Skate had those in Indianapolis where my aunt and uncle. Okay, okay. What do you have? What are you getting? What are you going to get? Something to drink. Get you some water, Dakota. Get you some water. You don't need you don't need milk right now. Get some water. You need you need water. 
Water, I keep telling you, water, 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 drink some water, it's healthy for you, okay? When you have your cereal, have it in the morning, okay? Because when I go to use milk for cereal, or I go to use milk, <laughs> sorry, y'all gotta hear this, I go to use milk for cereal, or I gotta use milk for macaroni and cheese, it's gone because you're drinking it around the clock. Drink you some water. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, man, he could drink that milk around the clock. You hear me? He can. Oh, Valencia said, you couldn't tell me the bike wasn't my car at, my, at that age. <laughs> I, I see you said, but milk is good. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. And Dakota is going to have to, um, guys. Dakota, I'm wiping my chat, my lip gloss off. Um, Dakota weighs 200, and I think he weighs 240 at his age. And he does need to um, go on a diet. We're getting ready to get him a personal trainer. Um, he's going to get a personal trainer when school starts, and he is signed up for football. So this is all new. This is all exciting, but um, it's definitely needed because he has a lot of weight for his age. Like he was, he he was almost a ten pound baby. Like like he was right there, like this inch, and he'd be ten pounds. But um, he 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 is a big boy. So this will be his first time playing uh, football. But he's already signed up for it. We just signed him up the other day, and he's set for the tech classes that he wanted to do. Um, signed up for football, getting ready to get started with this trainer. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on this. We want him to be as healthy as he can be. Yes, he is big for his age, but he's all, from the time he was a baby. He was always big. He was always big. Yes. And he 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 he's big. You know, 240. At his at 13, listen here, that's a lot of weight for him to be toting around. But when they did it, when my husband took him to get all his blood work done, everything came back uh good. So um, but they did say one thing. They said his A1C number looks like it could be pre-diabetic everything else came back good so we really um that's what made us say okay boom trainer okay so we found we we think we might have found some trainers out here so we're gonna look into it and get it going when school starts he's gonna have a busy 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 year on top of we still wanting to do um tutoring when school gets back in session we'll have to figure out how to do it and how to find that medium to where he's not too overwhelmed, you know? Oh, you said your daughter was nine pounds and she's tiny now. Okay. Okay. Did you have an epidural? Uh, 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 yes. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, Tiana says cut his saturated fats and that'll drop it. You can make him a food plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be great for football. We're going to figure this all out. Excuse me. And we figure out that the, um, like I said, he's had blood work. He's had all kinds of stuff done. Um, they they actually told us when they checked his BMI, his bad, bo, bo, what is it? Body mass index or whatever mass index. Um, they said that he has more muscle than the average person that would weigh that much for his age or something like that so they said he has tons of muscle under there so we'll 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 we'll, we'll see and i'll keep you guys updated it, it's going to be really interesting for him yeah the bmi okay yeah So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be something new. We got to switch around some foods and stuff. You know, like me stopping him 
uh, from getting the milk. He doesn't, he don't need milk right now. He'll need it. Get some water, you know, um, because nowadays milk isn't as healthy as it should be. So I, I want to force for him to drink water because it's natural. It's good. It's going to keep you hydrated. It's more healthy than milk. Like I said, he can have, he can have the milk when he, when he has breakfast. Yeah, that's what you meant by it's his build. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, muscle does weigh more than, yeah. So so we gotta, we're going to figure this all out. And I promise you, I'm going to take you guys along the journey as we proceed. And I'll let you know everything. Sugar-free drinks, absolutely, absolutely. And and I feel like if I get him some sugar-free drinks, he'll he'll totally love it. Uh-huh. That's that's a lot of weight. 240, 240, my goodness. Woo wee. Mm. I think he's in and for when it comes to his shoe, don't quote me. I know my husband knows Dakota's shoe size, but I think Dakota is in a I don't know if he's in a ten and a half in shoes. I can't I can't remember. Because my husband easily purchases Dakota's clothes and shoes. But I think he's in like a 10 and a half or 10. And he's always, in school, he's always, or or when it comes to his peers, he's always been bigger than any of I can remember when Dakota was in like, um, I don't know, maybe the fifth or fourth grade. He would say, yeah, that baby up there. And we're like, that ba that wasn't a baby. That was a kid. You, he looks like a baby to you <laughs> because you're so much bigger than him. You say, yeah, and I was playing with the baby like, what baby? Those are kids your age. <laughs> Sugar-free fruit flavoring water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. It's great ideas. Thank you. He, he had some strawberries. Oh, I got some mommy a bug. Oh, guys, listen. So we were, we was driving. And uh, did we have the top down? We had the top down and we're driving. And I just, I there was some bugs. Like wherever we was driving, there was all kinds of bugs, right? This happened like maybe a week or two weeks ago. And I'm like, oh, what kind of bugs is them? I'm like, they keep hitting the windshield and they're splatting the windshield. All of a sudden, I feel something in my hair and I feel it here and then I feel it here and then I feel it here and here and here. And I thought, oh my gosh. And I thought, okay, something's in my hair. So I just just do like this. I open my head up and I get the look and I'm like, there it is. And I pull it out and it was the same. <laughs> it was the same kind of bug that was hitting the window. And then that whole night I itched and I itched and I itched until I jumped in the shower, washed my head and when I went to bed, I was still itching, just thinking about it. And everywhere I turned around, I was itching. I'm like, ah, ah, it was just like the worst, just knowing that that bug was in my hair. And then my husband kept teasing me. And I was like, what kind of bug was that? Them bugs were so disgusting. <laughs> she said, I would have freaked out, Gina. Girl, it was the worst just to know. Oh, it was in there. Like, I'm like, ooh, ooh I don't want to drive with the top down no more. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, that it hasn't happened again. That's the first time that's ever happened. But I tell you what, it was not fun. Because <laughs> the whole day for 24 hours, I was a disaster. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for you guys watching. She said, my skin is crawling. It was the worst because, you know, all the hair I got, I, I was like, I was like tracing my finger through my hair. I'm like, okay, where is it? Where is it? Here's where I feel it. Boom, I open my hair up like, here it is. I got the whole bug. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bug it was. 
because she said me and bugs don't get along but it had wings and i had grabbed it by the wing and i thought oh right at least it wasn't fleas listen what i have for my dogs which is if we can talk about fleas really quickly something really interesting so <clears throat> what their vet did for them was gave them a immunization for fleas and ticks and i totally love that our dogs has never ever had fleas or ticks they haven't and i love it so they gave them an injection under their skin for fleas and ticks and i i don't know if they told us every six months or whenever but um it's great and it works and then also the company that we have come out and treat our lawn we have them spray for fleas and ticks right so that's great and she said i would have crashed i wasn't driving my husband was driving but he was laughing at me and he was like mm, you got bugs in your hair i said ain't no bugs i said it was one bug <laughs> I said, ain't no bugs. It was one bug. Don't say that. <laughs> so listen, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys what I did to my husband last night. This has to be one of the funniest things. Tell Mr. Young, hello, and Dakota. Eula, I will. So I was hugging my husband yesterday. I was hugging him. I I like to I, I'm I'm somebody that likes to I kind of like to do pranks a little bit, but I'm scared to death to do a a a, a real prank like on my husband because he would just totally go nuts. You know I, I would be so scared. I'd be watching people doing pranks on people, right? And I'd be thinking, man, they are bold. I don't know how they're doing it, right? I mean, do they be having like butterflies in their stomach while they're doing the prank? That's what I'd be thinking. But I love to watch pranking videos. But, but anyways, let's get to the point. So I'm hugging my husband yesterday. And I had, you guys know um, what, uh, 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 you know your charger that you use for your phone, right? On the end of the charger, there's a box that you plug your charger into, right? It's a box about this big, right? Somebody say yes if you know what I'm talking about. Or do I have to show you guys one? Okay, re repeat the last part. Okay, do you guys know what the, the box charger, the box that you plug into the wall, and then you plug your charger into it to plug your phone up? Well... I had a, the box in my hand. Let, let me let me just show you because I feel like some people aren't getting it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. Hold on, guys. I'm all up in your face right now. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hold on. I can't get it. <laughs> I'm stuck. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So now. Okay, you know the adapter, this, one of these. So, I'm hugging my husband yesterday, and I was just the hugging him. Guys, he smells so good. His, he always smells so good. His hands, his arms, his underarms. I don't know about you guys, but I smell my husband's underarms, and I love the way they smell. I smell him everywhere. I smell his, his neck and his hair. He just smells so good. So, um... I think he just had, I can't remember what he had on. I want to say, I'd like to say he just had, um, like, underwear on, I think. And no shirt or anything. But I was hugging him. And I was just smelling him because he smells so good. But I happened to have this in my hand when he walked in. <laughs> Not this exact one, but one of these. And so I'm hugging him and I rub my hand down his back. And then I decide I'm going to put this in his underwear. <laughs> what is wrong with me? So I rub my hand down his back and I've got this, right? I've, another one of these in my hand. Okay. I'm <laughs> I'm rubbing him on his back. He can't feel this. I'm rubbing him on his back like I usually do and just hugging him. And when I get to his underwear, I open it up just a little bit. I drop this down 
in the back of his underwear really lightly. And we're just still hugging. <laughs> we're still hugging. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> always gonna be funny we're still hugging right i love you too and he's talking he's getting ready to walk away he stopped right <laughs> he stops right in his tracks and guess what he said he got <laughs> You just put some in my pants, didn't you? <laughs> I said, I said, I said, where did you feel it at? And he was like, right underneath. <laughs> and I'm like, I told him, I told him, I told him, I said, you didn't feel it when I first put it in there. He was like, no, you was rubbing my back. I didn't, I, I don't know. Maybe it was stuck on my way. He, he said, well, maybe it was stuck on my waistband because I didn't feel anything. He said, but when I started walking away, I thought, what, <laughs> what is this? Something hard in here. <laughs> Guys. So my husband said, he said, that's okay. He said, that's okay. Because he knows what I hate, right? What I hate is mice. Mice is like my life fear. So guess what he was doing? He was looking, he was looking online at remote control mice. Him and Dakota was looking at remote control mice so he could scare me. I said, you better not. I said, that is going to be so scary. That'll be the end of me if you get a remote control mouse. He said, no. He said, he said everything's off the board. He said, I can buy what I want, <laughs> right? And uh, I just thought it was so funny. So when my husband is walking away, I am laughing so hard. I fell on the floor. I fell on the floor. I literally slid down his body and I fell on the floor and I couldn't stop laughing. And he was walking away. He was like, okay, that's okay. That's okay. I got you. And uh, later I had to tell him, I was like, uh, I'm still on the floor here. <laughs> He was like, nah, uh I said, I'm still on the floor. Can you help me up? He helped me up. He was like, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you back. I thought, oh, no. I should not. I should not have done that. But it was so funny. That's something that I will always remember. Uh-oh. She said, expect the payback. <laughs> but I la guys, I laughed so hard last night. <laughs> oh she said you scared my cat got me laughing out loud i'm sorry <laughs> i better be on my p's and q's you're right i think he is gonna get me and i'm not looking forward to it <laughs> i am not looking forward to it because because listen if it has to do with an electric mice like you said Oh, but why would he tell me and show me that that's what he was looking up? Uh, and then he showed me that you can purchase them that looks like a whole family. Like there was like eight of them and I guess you could put them like in a pile and you could make them move. I would, I would, Jeannie Young would be out of here. They say, where Jeannie Young at? Mm -mm. I would be like, okay, <coughs> I'm done. Jeannie, you're, you're done. You're done, Gina. <laughs> Oh, but you're, let's see, let's see, he's going to catch you when you're asleep. Oh my goodness. I don't want that to happen, but I be watching people like, I like to watch, uh, get, uh, 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 Von crazy family. He is always pranking and get lit with Mo. They are always pranking each other. They live in a house together and I just be thinking, like, my stomach being not worried of the pranks that they're doing, worried for, for themselves. For, I'm worried for them because I know the prank that they're getting ready to do. And I, I just, I don't think I could do those pranks on my husband. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know how that will work. 
Like, have you guys seen the prank where they have um, uh, the the spray that smells like like I guess it smells like dog poop. So you so when somebody's driving, I don't know if you would even want to do that when somebody's driving. I wouldn't do it when anyone's driving, so I don't suggest any of you do that. But I've seen pranks where um, you'll be in a car and they'll spray the spray, right? Oh, check your bed sheets. Oh my goodness, I would go nuts. So they spray the spray when you're not looking, and then all of a sudden you start smelling something. And then the other person said, oh, you know, my stomach is hurting. And then some of them might put like put chocolate pudding on their pants or whatever. That would just totally freak me out. Or I don't know if I did that to my husband, what he would think. If I tried to do that and record it, I feel like my husband would be cussing like, man, you got your folk ass. I could just hear I could just hear him saying something like that, like, man, you your ass is funky. I could just see it. So I, I know that I couldn't do a prank like that. But I think it's so much fun, and you have to have the guts to do it. I don't have the guts to do it. I don't. <laughs> she said, I was driving when you was telling the story. I was dying laughing. <laughs> she said, not folk ass. But I could, I could, I could just see him saying that. And I would have to edit the video out because he would be cussing like, man, your ass is funky. I could just see it. Uh, so I know that pranks is not, I, I'm not going to be able to do pranks. Although I love to watch them. <laughs> I love y'all too. Thank you, Miss Pooh. Thank you, Ron Wilson and Sonya. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Gina, you are killing me right now. <laughs> Everyone is laughing. <laughs> yeah, but I love, like, I seen this one where... They turn around and like you say, hey, you want to go to the, watch the car with me? And, you know, everybody, I don't know, most people will say, sure. You know, they get ready and they get in the passenger seat and you're driving to go clean the car. When you get to the car wash, you turn around. Oh, somebody said, imagine if you sprayed it on his pillow. Right. So you get to the car wash <clears throat> and as soon as the bubbles start coming down. If you got the top visor window, you open it up or you open it up on their side. As the thing's coming down, you know, uh, spreading the bubbles, you roll their window down and you got control of their window. Oh my goodness. And people are like, wait, what? What's happening? Close the thing. <laughs> I think that stuff is so funny. Guys, I'll be watching some funny stuff because I love a good laugh. You know, I love a good laugh, but I don't feel like I, I feel like I could dish it out, but I would be scared to dish it out. But then on the other end, I don't want nobody to do that to me because I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad if I got soap all over my face or if my cell phone got wet, you know, but I think that stuff is so fun. Sometimes I'd be in there laughing and just cracking up. And um, I know Dakota, my husband's like, what is she in there doing? <laughs> I'm watching prank videos because people are nuts. Yeah, uh-huh, Derek. Oh, my goodness. Derek, you're done. <laughs> Derek, you are done. He said, Gina, there's a big mouse that just ran across your patio. Oh, let me see. Somebody... <laughs> right in Walmart. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, listen. So listen, there was a thing where uh, they would say, would you rather? And one of the things was, one of the questions that I heard somebody, I'm trying to fix my camera, guys. This camera's kind of acting really crazy okay listen so um 
somebody said, <clears throat> would you rather? And you have to pick one. You can, It's like a game. You have to pick one. You can't just pick. You can't just say, no, I'm not choosing. You have to pick one. So somebody said, <clears throat> and, and I'm going to ask you guys, and then y'all could ask me a couple of things. Mice or lice? Listen. Listen, them two right there is running neck and neck. And I, I have my question. Already have my question. I already have my answer. Do y'all want to know what my answer is? I know you don't want to know what my answer is. Uh, Valencia said mice. Oh. <clears throat> oh, Raven said like. <laughs> Gail. Oh, Gail. Oh, Gail. <laughs> Ah, uh, listen, she's, okay, listen, listen to mine. <clears throat> if I, if I had to, like, you have to take one. Mice or lice, what would it be? Lice. I wouldn't care if it was all over my body. I'd take, I would take the lice. <laughs> he said, <laughs> Raymond, Raymond says something crawl, I would go crazy. <laughs> Listen, uh, mines would have to be lice. Mine ones had to be lice because you can get rid of it. Mines would have to be lice. I'm telling you, because I couldn't take the mice. I couldn't take the mice. Uh uh. <clears throat> Somebody, some people are saying mice. <laughs> but I think that's a really funny game that you all could play or you could say. You know, would you rather this? You know, you wouldn't get to the extreme of anything crazy. Just fun stuff like that. That That's a funny game to play, you know. <clears throat> Gina, you are too funny. I am hurting my side laughing at you. Oh, well, thank you. Let me see. You might as well. <laughs> she, said you might... <laughs> she said you might as well knock me out. I can't do it. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Oh, she said mice because my cat would get rid of it. Okay, okay, that that's a great one for you then. I think it's beginning to rain. I think it's beginning to rain, although I am under a, what you call it? Is it beginning to rain? It's beginning to sprinkle a little bit. Let's see. He said no crabs for me, worse than lice. <laughs> Ooh, wait. <laughs> mm. Hold on, guys. When I, oh, I got eyeliner stuck. You, you, you all have ever had eyeliner stuck right there? Oh, man. We, we had a good laugh, guys. We really did. <laughs> I might have to make my way inside. And so what I'll do is I will set the chair up excuse me, at the window in case if it starts to rain really bad, I'll set my chair up at the window so y'all can still see outside a little bit. Oh, Shannon Cox said no rats because they bite. <laughs> we had a good laugh tonight. You bet we did. <laughs> so here's the thing. Those of you that have came in new um, tomorrow, Gina Young is going to be going live 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're going to be making a patty melt, and we're going to make a nice salad, okay? So that's what's going to be on the menu, and guess what? You guys get to cook live with me. I'm going to post under this live all the ingredients, and I'm also going to post um, in a community tab what you're going to need for tomorrow's live, okay? This is something different. I know, I know. I know I was just going live on Saturdays, but we're kind of switching it up a little bit. Where's the troll at? Okay, let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. <clears throat> hey, listen, when you see like trolls coming in just pray for them because they they need prayers too you know really they do <laughs> we talked about some interesting stuff today i would say we did 
Yeah, I felt a few um, raindrops, but it doesn't seem like it looks kind of sunny, doesn't it? The Lady Magnolia wants to know if your older boys live close. They know they live in Columbus, Ohio. And we moved last year. Yes, they live in Columbus, Ohio. But they're doing fine. Exactly, they sure do need them. They're miserable folks. Let's see, it's a bot, not a troll, in every live show. Oh, okay. To 6 p.m. Eastern State. Yep, yep, yep. Let me get my charger. <clears throat> So I know you guys thought that was the funniest thing ever about my charger. I did it. Hold on. I did it. I had the nerve to do it, and I, I probably wouldn't do it again, but it was so funny. The good old charger trick. He said, and he, I let go of him because I was, remember I told y'all I was hugging him. And he was talking like, yeah, boo, 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 whatever he was talking about. He was like, <laughs> he, I said, why'd your eyes open? I said, why'd your eyes open like that? And he's like, well, I felt something. <laughs> I felt something. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Guys, y'all ain't never seen me laugh so hard in my life. Oh, Dolores said, no mice or no lice. Hi, Shannon, the other Shannon. <laughs> <clears throat> there are bones like cartilage. Car, 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 cartilage. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Anthony from Dallas, Texas. I'm late. It's okay. Listen, I like to tell you guys when you come into Jeannie Young's Live, you never late. Okay, I'm just thankful that you're here, you know? Don't worry about being late, okay? There's no certain time you have to be here. You know, we started the live at 6 o'clock, but as long as you're here, hey, you're okay. You guys are never too late. <clears throat> oh, he said, I know I worked pest control for years. <laughs> Hello, James Smith. How are you? Anthony Allen, you are on time. <laughs> Black Planet back in the day. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Hello, James Smith. Gina, you are so amazing. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. I have some water here. <clears throat> I'm trying to do something a little different. Let me tell you. So... I have read listen I have read that it's not good to drink ice water what do you think and what do you mean by say like you might say what do you mean Gina I read that it's best to drink your water at room temperature is that true is that true guys so I've been drinking water at room temperature. You know how I like to ice it up. I like to ice that baby up, fill the ice all the way up to the brim, and then pour my water in. Well, I changed it up a little bit. And um, so I'm going to let you guys know how what I think. But I'll have to do this for a while where it's just at room temperature, you know, because we have ice like this just, you know, just sitting on the floor, a whole bunch of them. I've been drinking my water this way and I have found out that my stomach, like sometimes at the top of my stomach, my stomach gets a little bloated at the top and a little hard. I ha I think, don't quote me on this, I think that I've seen a difference in that. Where my stomach is, is um, like feeling a little bit flatter and not so bloated since I've been drinking water at room temperature. So we'll just see, you guys let me know. They say drink room temperature water with your medicine. Is that right? I'm just finding this out. So, 
Oh, okay. Somebody says getting dark in here. Oh, okay. It's getting dark here, but it's still very light where you are. Okay. <clears throat> How are the dogs? The dogs are doing fine, okay? Um, they have some medicine. Um, they went and they got like, um, um, like some slides done. I don't know. But they test them basically for everything. And they said three to five days they're gonna let me know everything but for right now they are on some medicine they're feeling a little bit better okay but they look great they're playing they're having fun they're eating and drinking so I'm very happy with the way that they're looking and how they sound and, and <clears throat> excuse me and when they got to the vet they said they don't need an x-ray they said they're not they're not bad they said when we suggest the x x-ray your dog is doing horrible so our dogs is there they didn't even need the x-ray I have to have cold or ice water. Yeah, me too. But I want to try this to see if I see a difference. And they say when you drink uh, water at room temperature, your food digests better. Like, um, they explain like a whole lot of stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys could try it and tell me what you think. And they said hot water, not hot, not, you know, too hot. But they said warm water is really good. Like, you know, the temperature of coffee or tea. They said it's really good when you drink, if, you, if you're the person that can drink warm water. I thought, really? But it's really interesting. I eat ice and try to stop. Oh, there's a lot of people that like ice. So many people. Doctor always tells me room temperature water is better for your digest. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to see that. I only drink room temperature. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I'm, I've been trying it, and I'm so happy with up here. Um, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, it's, it's not as hard as it was. It's, it's nice and, I wouldn't say flat, because I don't have a flat stomach. But it's not hard because sometimes I, I be having some bloating issue that I don't like. <clears throat> oh, you love eating ice. I have drinking, I have been drinking water room temperature for years. Is that right? You like cold, okay. Messaging with my devil, mess, messing with my Wi Fi. Oh, I'm, you said I'm back. Okay, yeah, devil, you get out of here. Devil, you get out of here. You have no authority over Gina Young's channel. You have no authority over uh, Miss Pooh's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yola, she made a date night dinner. She posted it on her vlog. I did. Yes, I did. The dinner was so spectacular and delicious. It, yeah, it shock. Okay, so someone says it shocks your body and organs. Um, are you saying that the ice water? You would think that your organs are at, I don't know if they're at room temperature. I really don't know what temperature they're at, so don't quote me on that. But you would think putting ice water on top of that, would that make like steam in the inside of your butt? Like, I don't know, but it sounds like it would. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do the room temperature water, see how I like it, see if I'm seeing different effects. I'm going to try it. I, I'm so curious. Gina, I drink water with tea at it. Otherwise, literally, um, it looks soft when you push your stomach. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. As of now, it's nice and soft for now, you know. Because this is where my stomach was bloating up here. And that's why I had the um, endonostopy and colonoscopy. They wanted to look, make sure everything was good. But everything was A1. So, you know, that was fine. And I'm very pleased and happy about that. Only thing they found was they said that my esophagus was a little irritated. And that could be due to acid reflux. Um, but that's all they said. <clears throat> Ice water shocks your body. Oh, yeah, let me read what you're saying. Uh-oh. Let me read what you're saying. I, I, didn't get, I didn't get that message. Okay. 
Ice water shocks your body, and your body has do do do. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Gina, notice when it's going. Notice when you is going in. You have. Okay, I am all over the place right now. Gina, notice when you is going in surgery how they warm your body with the blanket. Oh, is that right? I honestly no. I don't. I don't know about that. But that is interesting. Oh, I do. I have a daily uh, probiotic. Is it a probiotic? I take a, um, I think it's a probiotic um, that I take. And it's supposed to give you like good bacteria in your stomach. You know, I do take one of those every morning. And I, I totally love taking it. Hey, baby, are both good and prebiotics. I drink for a minute. Yeah, apple juice. Okay. Cucumber and lemon water. See, here's the thing. At one point, I was drinking lemon water. I love lemon water. Lemon water. But listen, I felt like it was uh, messing with my... Come here, Dakota. I felt like it was, can you put that chair and, and set my little black table up in there? Just, just in case. Thank you, baby. I need that chair up here and, and that black table in our room um, because I might have to come in because it's getting ready to rain. My husband's going to do it. Um, what the heck? What was I saying, guys? What was I saying? What the heck was I getting ready to say? Oh, so I felt like um, I had like, I didn't want the lemon to mess with my teeth because uh, I worked too hard to get my teeth to where they're at. And I felt like uh, there was a part on my tooth that kind of was looking uh, translucent a little bit, although that did fix. But I felt like it was from the lemon water that I was drinking. So I cut it, I cut it, I cut it, cut it, cut it. So. I didn't do that anymore. But they say it's good for you. But then someone told me, well, you're doing it wrong. And I said, well, what am I doing wrong? And they said, well, you're not um, sipping it with the, um, a, uh, you're not sipping it with the straw. If you sip it with the straw, then it goes past your teeth. And I thought, ha, that was genius. That was genius. Look, look at the babies. <laughs> They're so spoiled. Oh, they're so spoiled. Thank you, Bordo. Oh, they're kissing. <laughs> they are kissing him. <laughs> Am I back? I lost connection for a second, and it might be because it's getting ready. To... Oh, is it still buffering? I hope it's not. Listen, if we happen to lose connection, no worries. Guess what? Because I promise you, I'm coming back. Okay? If we ever, ever if we're ever on any of these lives and we lose connection, I will come right back with another live. Okay? That. Okay, okay. She's saying we're back. Um, I do need help coming in. I want to sit there. Thank you. I love you, baby. Okay, this gets plugged into the wall. Okay. All right, all right, guys, give me a second. I'm going in because it's getting ready to storm. I don't want to get caught in the storm. Okay, you got this, Dakota? Don't, sure. don't drink my water. Sure. Don't be drinking my water. <laughs> I drink every day. All right, guys, hold on. <sighs> yep, yeah, I don't want to get caught in the storm. <laughs> We're going in. Come with me. The brownies are over there by the refrigerator. Brownie time. We made brownies yesterday and they were delicious. Oh my goodness. It's freezing. It's freezing in here. Okay, guys. Let's, Dakota, can you, is the air, if the air is on, you got to turn it off because I am like an icicle right now. I know I just been in here for one second, but. It's cold. Oh my goodness, it's cold. 
Okay, hold on. I'm right here, guys. I ain't going nowhere yet. All right, they set up my stuff just perfectly. I got a table with all my goodies, with my pen and pencil. All right. Thank you, baby. I love you. Love you too, boo okay? Love you too, baby. <laughs> okay. All right, can you guys see me? You haven't made brownies in a while, you need to make you some. Listen, you ain't got to make them homemade. You, Man, you ain't going to feel old if I start calling you my old lady, is you? I will feel old. <laughs> okay, listen to this. You don't want to hear this. Uh, Miss. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. You, know, you guys don't want to hear this. My husband said, uh, uh, baby, are you going to feel old if I start calling you my old lady? I said, I, I am going to feel old. <laughs> don't call me that. You don't like that? Name. No, I'm not your old lady. Don't worry about it. I don't like it. <laughs> he said, don't worry about it. I don't like that word either. I really don't like that. My old lady. Or what if I start <laughs> saying, what if I, and you, you guys know how yeah, I, I say your old man. people are laughing. <laughs> you know how, uh, you know how, like I always say my husband, what if I start saying my old man? Nope. Oh, here comes my old man and the puppies. You better not. That doesn't, oh, he said, yeah. you better not. <laughs> With I me. Know, old man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he really is old. <laughs> he said he said he really is old. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's fighting. He's putting up a fight. He's putting up a fight when it comes to him being an old man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Night I love you guys. Okay, close the office window so nobody's looking in here. I don't want nobody looking up in here. Do you, you guys ever, like, like, I feel like when it's evening time and your windows are open, people can look in. But when it's daytime, it's like, it's so bright outside, nobody can see in your windows. But once it gets evening, people can see straight through, you know? Huh? I I will take a little piece after you wash your hands. Does your dad want you? Oh, no, he was talking to play laser tag. Y'all going to play laser tag later? Okay, that sounds fun. Okay, listen, did you wash your hands? Okay. <laughs> Don't give me nothing you ain't washed your hands. All right, I'll take mine on a piece. I want an end piece, and I'll take mine on a piece of uh, uh, paper towel. All right, guys, we're back. All right, all right. All right, let me get nice and cozy here. The dogs ran downstairs with my husband. Uh, Dakota, make sure your hand, yeah, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. You got to, because if you don't, I don't want nothing you serving. Hold on, I'm trying to fix this camera because now that I'm in, uh, the camera has to be Oh, you gave me a tiny piece, but but that's all I need, that little tiny piece. And see, this part of the um, brownie? Just cut another piece. Do you want it? This part of the brownie is the part that I like, that crispy edge. I like the whole cake. <laughs> you like the whole, Dakota said he liked the whole thing. And see, that's why he got to go on that diet. I told y'all about the diet. <laughs> The end piece is the best. Saj says, I like my privacy to, to Gina. <laughs> Some people, let me, uh, let's see, I don't think I'm fixed yet. Tell me is my face in the camera. Am I in there? I think I'm in there. Um, some people just like to leave their curtains open day and night around the clock. I'm not that person. I'm, I'm not that person. Like, what if I'm walking around with pajamas or something on? Uh, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want the whole wide world that walks by to see what I got going on. I got two boxes of brownie mix in the kitchen. Please don't tempt me, Gina. Christopher, no. You need to make you some. 
Make you some. <laughs> Somebody told me that um, they said, they said, thank you, Gina, for, hold on, let me get this cuckoo nut out of here. Okay, listen, somebody told me, they said, thank you, Gina, for um, raising your voice again when you say impeccably clean. You know how I say that, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. They said, make, they said thank you for doing that. They said, because you stopped doing that for a while. And I guess I would just say, make sure your hands are impeccably clean, right? And they said they didn't like that. So I had to go, so I, I think I have to go back to saying impeccably clean, I, I guess. I think I, hold on. I think I have to go back to that. <laughs> the, the Candace in your voice makes a difference. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Hold on. I think I dropped a piece of brownie. I can't get brownie on this chair. This is a special chair. Make sure I didn't. This is a special chair. And it's a light gray chair. So we got to be mindful. When sitting in this chair, making sure I don't get nothing in this chair. I don't want brownies smeared in this chair because it's light, light gray. Mm -hmm. Sonia says, I thought you never stopped. Well, I knew that I had purposely stopped saying impeccably like that um i knew that i had purposely did it but somebody noticed and they said girl you need to get get you know do it again and i thought okay mm. johanna says brownies and vanilla ice cream is the best, and I totally believe you. I'm not a fan of ice cream. I can eat ice cream. I like ice cream and all that good stuff, but ice cream isn't my favorite. It's not. Sure I can. A updated smothered steak? Sure. No, no. I like ice cream, but it's just not my favorite. Like I can do without ice cream, you know? But I do feel like when um, I have burnt, let's see, Gina, I have 20 pounds to lose. Brownies are calling me, <laughs> oh my goodness. Girl, I got some weight to lose, you hear me? Y'all wouldn't believe how much I weigh, but I have to work on it. You see how I'm not looking y'all in the face right now while I'm saying I got to work on it. I got to work on it. I got to work on it. We got that basement down there that has all the workout stuff down there. And I mean, like you could walk down in that basement like it's a track. So many things I need to do and I will. I just don't know when. <laughs> I, got, I got some weight to lose. I really do. I got some weight to lose because what I weigh right now is not what I'm supposed to weigh. And y'all wouldn't believe how much I weigh. Oh, you gained 40 pounds during the pandemic. Okay. I, and I totally understand that. I really do. Shannon Cox said, I love ice cream. Here's what my dad used to do. My dad used to um, get a cherry cordial ice cream and the uh, pretzel rod. And he would take the, you know, the pretzel rods that look like this, they're about that long. And he would dip the pretzel rods into the cherry cordial ice cream and 
it's a great combination. So if you ever get a chance to mix pretzels with ice cream, salted pretzels, um, it's delicious. And my dad also likes um, butter pecan. Butter pecan was one of his favorite. <laughs> yep. What's you guys' favorite ice cream? Oh, she said that's good to eat it with pretzels. What's you guys' favorite ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate chip, cookies and cream. Pistachio, that sounds really delicious. Black cherry. Black walnut or pistachio. If So I like um, mint chocolate chip, and I also like cookies and cream. My head, listen, when my husband brings me ice cream, he always gets the two mixed up. I will ask for cookies and cream. I'm whispering. <laughs> I will ask for cookies and cream, and he always gets cookie dough. <laughs> and he says, heck, I don't know the difference. He forgets. <laughs> He's like, I know it was cookie something. And so the last time he bought it for me, um, I went to open up the bag and he's like, I got you something, right? And I'm like, oh, did you? And I open up the bag and he's looking like with anticipation, like, did I get the right one? And I'm like, you got the right one. And he's like, I knew I did. I knew it was cookie, uh, cookies and cream <laughs> and not cookie dough. <laughs> I said, I think you learned. <laughs> Although cookie dough is delicious, but I don't like it better than cookies and cream. A lot of people on here are saying that they like butter pecan. Okay. Rocky Road. That's a really interesting one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, I don't, it didn't rain, but I felt like it was getting ready to. Byers has the best vanilla. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll have to try Briars. Briars. I think that's how you say it. Somebody said they like strawberry. I love brownies, but one thing that I don't love is a chocolate cake. I don't love chocolate cake. I love brownies, but I, I'm not a fan of chocolate cake. Now, when it comes to making my better than anything cake, absolutely I love it. Or when it comes to making, um, uh, what's the one cake? Um, German chocolate. I love it. But I'm not a fan of chocolate cake. I'm just not. Oh, a lot of people are saying they like briars. Yeah? Chocolate and vanilla. Strawberry cake or carrot cake for me. Ooh, that sounds good. Now, when it comes to my favorite cake, what would my favorite cake be? <laughs> okay, I would really like to say I absolutely love the pineapple upside down cake. I love that. But then I also like, um, what the heck was I getting ready to say? Oh, carrot cake. I love carrot cake. I love the cream cheese icing. Like I feel like all of those flavors just go together like a match made in heaven. She said vanilla ice cream has, I didn't get to see what she said has in it. Oh, your favorite cake is lemon. Okay. Chocolate cake with cream cheese icing. Mm. Can't eat too much chocolate cake. It messes with my stomach. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Italian cream cake is a really good cake. Yes, it is. Love homemade German chocolate cake. Homemade carrot cake. Carrot cake just melts in your mouth. You bet it does. I love carrot cake. Yeah, an Italian cream cake is good. And red velvet cake. Red velvet cake is good. Although, it's a chocolate cake. You all know that. You just put the, you know, you put the dye in it. Almond milk in it. Yum. <sighs> What folks, what folks didn't like? 
apple drapple cake. I don't know what that is. I may have made it. I don't know. Uh, 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 Johanna said, I love them all. <laughs> My husband likes when I make a simple vanilla cake. Well, he has some favorites, but if he's asking for a quick cake of mine, he'll say, can you make me a vanilla cake with uh, cream cheese icing? Sure. German chocolate cake. So I, I'm actually pretty excited about tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going live, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are making patty melts and a fresh salad. So I'm excited about this. I feel like what I'm going to do is early on that day, I will do a video. So we'll do a cooking video earlier, and then I'll kind of just hang out and relax and get, you know, like some rest in. And then six o'clock, you guys are gonna see me on live and we're gonna to cook together. Together we're cooking. It'll be fun. A lot of people like the ooey gooey butter cake. Listen, I've tried it when it came out. When it first came out, everybody was nuts over it. But when you think about it, that is one sweet cake. That ooey gooey butter cake is, it's ooey. It's gooey and it's all that. And the crispy edge is delicious, but it is sweet. I don't want something that's that sweet. Buttermilk pie, I have had it and it's delicious. Oh, you just made a carrot cake with cream cheese icing. Yum. Are we still cooking on Saturday? Yes, we are. We're still cooking on Saturday and we are making the salmon and the loaded potato. I just thought I'd throw it alive in this week to give you guys something to look forward to after you get off of work tomorrow, just to give you something to do, okay? And if you wanted to cook along with me, you can, but if you don't want to, that's okay. You can just join the live and we can chat, okay? So that's gonna be exciting. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know what Dakota be doing in there. He be making some noise, like, he be making some noise, sound, sound like he about to fall through the floor. Dakota, what are you doing? Here he comes, Lord. What's all the noise? What are you doing? Hold the noise down. <laughs> he said, he said he's moving the basket. I don't believe that. I believe he's on his hoverboard. I believe he's on his hoverboard in the house. He's not supposed to ride the hoverboard in the house. Or he could be on his scooter in the house. He needs to take it outside. <laughs> Guys, he has a hoverboard. I don't know. Thank you, Grace. I don't know how he rides it. He gets on that hoverboard and he can go around like this in circles. I tried to stand. I couldn't even stand on the hoverboard. I don't know how they get their balance. I don't know how you get your balance and how you don't fall off. And when you want to go, you want when you want when you want to go fast, you lean forward like this. Like that's not okay with me because when I lean forward, I'm ready to fall forward, <laughs> right? So I don't know. And then when you want to slow down, you stay. You you know stand up straight. When you want to turn, I guess you lean all your weight on one foot. That's, that, I don't know. I'd rather ride a bike. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather ride a bike. <laughs> but it does, although it does look fun. And his hoverboard that he has, Derek eats some love. He's feeling left out. Gina, Derek eats. Derek, where are you? Oh my goodness, what's the problem? Dear Geeds, my grandmother used to make me a good manoose cake recipe. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. 
We see you, Derek. We haven't forgot about you, okay? Derek Eads. I, I forgot. I just totally lost thought of what I was getting ready to say. I was talking about something before she said Derek Eads. Do a poll. What should I do a poll on? Oh, he, he is. Yeah, I totally agree. Some people don't understand that. I, I Listen, I can't, I can't read all these comments myself. If I had somebody right next to me or, you know, you know, here with my chat and they could say, hey, you know, so-and-so saying this or reading it to me, I don't have anybody in my ear reading the comments to me. It's a lot of people here to see their comments. Don't let him change the hoverboard. Don't let him charge the hoverboard while he's sleeping. It's a fire hazard. Well, well, here's what they tell you. Uh, okay, definitely. Um, they do tell you to only charge it for an hour. And if you overcharge it, you'll overcharge the battery. Like, you'll mess it up. So he knows not to charge it um, over an hour. He has to not charge it over an hour or it'll overcharge yeah yes i meant mayonnaise cake i i may have heard of a mayonnaise cake um i may have heard of a mayonnaise cake but i've never made one never made one There's, there's, um, got, I'll tell you one thing. There's a donut that I love. This called the sour cream donut. I love that. And I also love a cruller. You know, the cruller, uh, do you guys know what cruller donut is? I go nuts over a cruller. And I love that sour cream donut as well. My sister has a hoverboard too, and she doesn't use it. I brought a hoverboard and never rode it. Oh my goodness, Gina, Angela truly is allergic, let me see, to fish. She wants to know what to substitute. Chicken, substitute with chicken, okay? Um, when, when we go live on Saturday, since you are allergic to fish, um, you can use a chicken breast and you can use the same exact recipe you can cook your chicken exactly how we're gonna make the salmon, okay? So you can still join us in the live. So all you're gonna do is get you some boneless, skinless chicken breasts um, that are thin cut. If it's not thin, slice it down the middle and make it thin, and you can still make the same everything we're making, okay? A cruller, what I was saying, a cruller is a donut it has like a funky shape and it's delicious. Thank you. <laughs> hey, listen, tell me, do you guys have good lighting? If not, I can I can switch it up. I'm doing fine, J. Ron. How are you? Yes, she said cruller donuts are the bomb. They really are. And, and the sour cream donut, so good. Lighting is fine, okay. Great, because I, I actually have, I don't have one light on in my living room. I don't have any lights on and I'm so grateful. I love pigs in a blanket. Oh, do you? Um, I don't think I've done a video where I've made pigs in a blanket. I feel like if I made a video for pigs in a blanket, um, I would use like a sausage, some type of sausage. I think that would be delicious. Gina, I have 20 pounds to lose, not gain. Oh, yeah, girl, I got some weight to lose too. Mm. For a long time, I said I got baby fat. <laughs> yeah, I got some baby fat I need to lose, but Gina, how long are you gonna say that? <laughs> you can't say that forever. <laughs> yeah, Derek, I'm sorry. Hang in there. I can't see all the comments. Let's see what Derek's saying. Oh. 
if I can see it. I'm a looking. Let me see. I don't see. I don't see Derek. So I'll just wait until he comments again and hopefully I see the comment. If not, hey, listen, I'm only one person. I, I like. Breathe, Gina. Yeah, the thing about, there's Derek. It's okay, I'm sorry, I haven't said anything recently, but I understand. Okay, definitely. I like a buttermilk bar, buttermilk bars and glaze. I've never, I've never heard of that. You say it'll fall off. <laughs> we gotta work it off. Do we need to do like um, a lot? If y'all haven't tried boudin before, you have to. Oh. Um, do we need to do like a, a live video? I, I think y'all would die laughing. I think y'all would just crack up laughing. If I did a video of me working out, it would just be like so hilarious. Because I number one, I could see myself sitting down during the workout. Number two, I, I, don't, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what, I just don't know what I would do. Your baby is 35 and I said the same thing for years. Baby fat, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of it that I can grip. <laughs> I You choose a workout video on YouTube, we would do a live and work out with you. Yeah, AJW, I, I'm sure you would. You guys would be laughing at me, and I'm talking about workout tutorial. On a treadmill and get thrown off. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> on a treadmill and get thrown off. Oh my goodness. That would not, that would be, that would be one of the craziest things that could happen. Although it could happen. <laughs> That's why I don't want to do a workout live. You guys would be laughing so hard at me. Well, you, you do see how dark it's getting. It is beginning to get dark, so it just might rain. Uh. So did you guys enjoy the sporadic is this sporadic the word I'm looking for? Did you guys enjoy just the pop-up live that we're doing today? I hope you guys are. Oh, somebody said, Christopher said, I remember I failed trying to use a treadmill. Oh, it was fun. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you all. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Please, Lord, make it rain here. Ooh, I think that's what she said. Let me see. Amen, Catherine. It took a, a chant. You might be on. I'm glad I checked. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I always have a good time on here. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. We need it to rain here. Oh, she says she needs it to rain there in New, New, New Jersey. Karen, sis, the pandemic made me think I could eat anything. Ooh, wait. Yeah. It still hasn't rained there in Dallas. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed the chat today and especially the laughs. Yeah, I, I want you guys to have the time of your life when you come in here. Whether I'm on here for a little bit or whether I'm on here for five hours, I, I want you guys to have the time of your life. We did have a good laugh today, right? Texas needs rain. I have my treadmill downstairs in the basement. I'm getting on it later. She said, um, I have gotten on it this week. Oh, okay. 
Like family and friends talking on the front porch. That's nice. Told y'all it's family time here. It really is. It really is family time here. We are all family. When you come and you join Gina Young's channel, uh, you become family. You become family. Oh, you haven't got on there. Enjoyed the chat. Have a good evening and night. Oh, you too. Let me see. That is Lynn, Lynn Beal. Thank you for coming in. I totally understand, says Miss Karen. Or Miss, yeah. Yes, we all are a big family. You bet you are. You bet we are. You guys are my family. Oh, AJW, I watch all the time, but hardly chat. Listen, you can chat if you want. And then if you don't want to say anything, it's okay too. You know, as long as you join and you watch and you have fun every once in a while, you can comment if you want. And if I can see your message, I'll definitely respond back to you. But like I said, we like to have fun in here. Nice, clean fun. When are we going to find out about... Ah, uh, somebody said something. Okay, hold on, guys. Okay, we see them. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Okay, what I was looking at and why I was so quiet is I was looking at the bot. Or you guys were saying it's a bot and not a troll? Oh, thank you, Catherine. <laughs> he said it's hammer time. Never. We love the comments. Gina, it's raining in Georgia. Oh, my goodness. Shannon Cox, yes, and people still need to wear a mask. Okay. Hey, Deanna. How are you? I was on my daughter's last night when the same bots were on her channel. Okay. After all, eight and still a hundred in Dallas. Oh man, at Christopher Williams. Yes, yes, every day, everywhere you go. Oh my goodness. Well, listen here, I enjoyed myself. Uh, me and my husband have a big, big date tonight. So what I want you guys to do is check out the video that I posted. I posted a great video of our dinner, our date night dinner. You guys are gonna love it. It was so stinking easy to make it, and to make it, and I made it in a jiffy. Okay, I even made like strawberry um, chocolate covered strawberries. You guys go over and check out that video. I'm gonna get ready to get off of here, and what I will do is as soon as I get off in the community tab, I'm gonna post what. You you're going to need for tomorrow so you can cook dinner with me i'm going to post under this um live what you're going to need to cook with me tomorrow 6 p.m eastern standard time if you guys want to cook live with gina young i'm going to post the ingredients and as some of you may say gina are you still going to be cooking live on saturday yes we're going to still cook live on saturday i'm just switching it up a little bit Give somebody during the week something nice to cook, something easy that doesn't cost a whole lot, okay? So, it'll probably take about um, maybe an hour to post the ingredients that you're going to need and put it in the community tab and post it under, under this live, okay? So, I love you guys. I'm going to get ready to get off of here, but not before I give you guys a big old hug. I'm going to give y'all a big old hug every time. And if I ever try to get off of here without giving you guys a hug, please remind me. Give me a hug. Give me a big old hug. I love you guys so much. I love you so much. I'm going to get off of here. 
tomorrow Jeannie Young is going live 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we are making patty melts and a fresh salad for dinner and it's it's the perfect time to go live because most of you all will be off work okay and then i want to say it again never worry because saturday i'm going live again cooking okay we're going to be making fresh salmon and loaded potatoes all right so i love you guys thank you to sonia Thank you to Ron Wilson, and thank you to Miss Pooh. You guys are doing amazing. I love each and every one of you all in this chat, okay? May God bless all of you guys. I will see you all tomorrow at 6. Good night. Listen, listen. Check out the date night video, okay? The date night dinner. It was delicious, okay? So me and my husband have to get ready so we can finish off our date night. I love you guys. God bless. Good night. Love y'all.